Settle down there, Taylor. I like that you call me Taylor too, and that counts. That's funny. <laughs> when you called him Taylor, hundred yeah. percent. No, yeah. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, stop fixing your mic. You're like, easy there, Taylor. Oh yeah, I did that because that's what. Uh, because I know you did it on purpose. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Saying. yeah. I, I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Just let him. Taylor if on. you cause attention to it, it's different if like a fucking like if I no, drop I the mic. No, I can't. It's I. <laughs> Just you ignore it. I you got to do that. I can ignore it, but then I can hear you fiddling <laughs> with it every time I go look at Kirkland. Well, I'm I guess just it's here so for a good time. I guess so it's I not a, I guess I guess it's not a skill you have. Hello, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the X Men retrospective. Whoa. I am. Oh fuck. Hmm. I am the forgettable Kyle Smith. Damn, you can't just start. Oh. Now the next person has to go. Yeah, I exactly. I'm Weapon Eleven, I'm Crass the Now. <laughs> I am the Loudmouth, Kirkland Patser. Uh-huh. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you see me eating, it's because I've not, for the audio or video listeners, I've not eaten all day, so I'm having You'll some You'll hear food. audio listeners. No, I will move worry. away from that, so I apologize. I never do that. I hate that, but my stomach was gurgling when we did X3, so go check that out because we are reviewing every X-Men leading up to Dark Phoenix, uh, what is it, X1, all the way to Days of Future Past. All the other X Men films we have reviewed at some point, so they're there for you. The Deadpool's, the Logans, the Apocalypses. So we're doing the ones we never got a chance to talk about. Saying goodbye to this franchise. If you can do me a favor, if you like what we do here, to plug this at the beginning, go over to iTunes and please subscribe. And also, we are our goal is to try and hit 200 reviews on iTunes. As you can see, we got soundboard, nice mics, all this good jazz. You guys make a difference. You guys help. So if you like what we do here and you don't want to, you, you can't afford Patreon, the same thing that, we understand. But if you can help us, if you want to go, hey, I like Geekverse, I like the free content they give us, what can we do? Well, just a five-star and also a written review. Those are the ones that help. Yeah. So now we're getting into, I was I was building up, but Kyle just right in there. Let's do this. Attention. I'm ready. Let's fucking get to we it. We are talking about <laughs> X3, no, X-Men Origins Wolverine. The early years this IMDb is wrong, wrong already. The early years of James Logan. That's not who he is. It's James Hallett or Logan, but fine, IM, IMDb. <laughs> um, <laughs> already. Jimmy <this> Logan. <laughs> yeah. Featuring his rivalry with his brother, Victor Creed, his service in the Special Forces uh, Team Weapon X and his experimentation into Metal Line Mutant Wolverine. Metal Line? Is metal that like Lined. Oh, Metal Lined. Okay, sorry. What do you thought I said? Lime? Me- <laughs> <laughs> metal Line. That's funnier than what I thought you said. I thought you just said met- Metal Line. Like, metal line. all one word. And just because it's staring me in the face, I had this in trivia, but I'm just going to throw this out for you guys for some perspective. Uh, David Benioff wrote the screenplay for this. He is one half of the co uh, showrunners for Game of Thrones. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. So Benioff Wise, they do Game of Thrones. So you look, fam, you can write X-Men Origins, but you can still go on to do Game of Thrones. Hey, man. Just like, I'm not going to get basketball stuff. Anyways, continue on. That's it. Kyle, what do you think <laughs> about this movie? Wow. So to give the fans and the listeners a little bit of uh, background, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever watched this movie. Completely. This is new. Never seen it before. I was like, okay, like started. Thought I seen it. First scene. No, nope. I've never <laughs> seen this before. <laughs> so it was. It no. was a ride. This. Are you thinking of the Japan one? I. I, I See, no. That's I wasn't. That's what think- I thought this movie was going into it. I forgot that there was another Wolverine that was the Japan one. I knew it wasn't the Japan one because uh, we've seen that in theaters together. But um, this, I. I definitely didn't see beforehand, so I was going in blind to this. And you loved it. Hated it. Oh, I shouldn't say hate. I hated it. <laughs> it was it was awful. Yeah, it, it w- was. <laughs> so there was so much going on. I I don't even know where to start. We'll get into it. We'll later, get into it. But I was not a big fan of this movie. We'll at start all. at the beginning when we get into <laughs> it. <laughs> nah, it's uh, all over the place. Like this movie. Yeah, I was just I know I kind of started watching. It's like I'm really confused of like what's happening. Like, how does this connect to X3? Like, because I just <laughs> watched X3, now I'm watching this, <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, are we going back? Like, who's this striker person? Like, he looks completely different from the striker that I saw in X1. And I'm like, what? Wait, what is happening? So, X2, X right, X2. And um, thank you for the correction. You Always. didn't pick up that it was a prequel though. No, Origins. How? Yeah, X Men. How long did it take you to realize it was a prequel? When Deadpool came out? <laughs> or, did you, or did you just realize that now? No, 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 no. I didn't realize it now. But like it, 
uh, at first when I started, wa- I was kind of confused. I didn't realize it was a prequel. How I know that's why I asked. When did it in this movie? When did it click in? When well, uh, toward at the very beginning when it says like eighteen eighty seven or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, c- that, that's where I was confused. Of I was like, okay, well, like. I guess I just for me I didn't know much about Wolverine's background story, mm. so product of its time. It's a, yeah. So this is I guess this, I'm a perfect example of someone who's never seen this movie is very confused w- first time watching it, not really realizing that this is Wolverine's prequel movie to the X, like uh, the X Men series. So what did you think the title was then? I I guess I just I didn't know what to expect from this movie. I had no idea. So such an interview between <laughs> Travis <laughs> chowing down on his crusts over there, <laughs> Kyle getting interrogated. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, we're gonna get into okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, my my overall thoughts. Uh, it's just yeah, it's pretty pretty terrible movie. I, I'm not even gonna say it's a product of its time because I guarantee there's better movies that came out. What was this? 2009. Yeah, it doesn't get to be a product of its time. No, it's definitely not. Less a than a decade. <laughs> but uh, that's not less than a decade. When did it come out? 2009. Yeah, but w- yeah. <laughs> and what month, Kirkham? <laughs> I don't know, Travis. What is it? Came out in Educate May, me. so it's oh, less than a less decade. Oh, less than a decade. Wow. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. I enjoyed myself while I was watching it because oh, oh there was <laughs> some, <laughs> pretty, the on us. some yeah. pretty ridiculous scenes that happened. And it was so ridiculous that it's like, oh, why are they doing this? It's just like, it like shocks you and you're like, I can't believe this is happening right now. And you just start laughing because there's no other like reaction to have. So like that type of enjoyment, not like, Oh man, I can't wait to watch this movie again and enjoy that the same way. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? Right. And then it's just like your first reaction is just laughter. So there's a few scenes we'll talk about when we get there, but like for a movie standpoint, especially like what you mentioned, how we go to like X three to this, (laughs) like, X3 compared to like the first X, <laughs> the first X-Men movies, I should say yeah. it like X-Men 1 and X-Men 2. Wait, sorry, totally losing track here. But are those both directed by the same person? Yes. Yes. And the third one's not. No. Correct. So that makes sense why they totally seem different. Yeah. Correct. OK, so <laughs> I didn't and know that. And this is actually. not directed by yeah. Brian Singer. No, no. this is directed yeah. by Gavin Hood. What did you just say there? Gavin Hood. It's directed by Gavin Hood. Okay. Who? Uh, who? What other movies did he do? This is the last one. It was kind of hit for him. I think one he hit did uh, another one after, but uh, he was kind of director jail for quite a bit. But it wasn't really. He said director jail. That's what they call it. But they. Uh, he's been on record and said the studio was uh, really tough to work with during this movie. So I think it's not. I'm not going to throw all my. Uh, everything on him for being a problem. I think it has a lot to do with them. He also did Ender's Game recently. He did Eye in the Sky and Official Secrets, so I don't know. Ender's Game wasn't that bad. Well, there you go. Yeah. Never a- saw it. But. A- anyway, so then I guess... Was Kirkland done? Sorry. <laughs> I really want to had, <laughs> had I given my overall yet? <laughs> Continue. I forgive you. Um, yeah, so going from like X-Men 3 to those first two, it just seems so different, but then you take a jump even further. <laughs> this is like... A completely different, like, era of movies. Like, it was just so weird going from the first three movies that we've seen. Obviously, the third one's different than those first two. Like, if you take out the director Mm -hmm. change and everything. But it was just the style, like, the comedy. It just seemed, like, darker at points. But, like, at the same point, or at the same time, like... More cartoony. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. And, like... Blob. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, I I don't want to say anymore because I know we're gonna get into it. But my overall view is just it is a mess, and uh, definitely don't ever want to s- watch this movie again. I don't. I'll have to buy some time because I think Travis is uh, he saw a fire going off or something. <laughs> okay, some, my important Joker picture was just looking a little crushed. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there there's not much more I could say about this movie that hasn't already been said by these two gentlemen or by critics for years or by comic book fans it's just a really bad movie all around there's so much to pick apart i agree with kirkland i think there is come so bad it's good moments but that's about it um i think i will just because kyle's biting at the bit to get into this so i'm gonna keep it short i'll just say the biggest perspective is the dark knight came out a year before this movie Holy crap, <laughs> eh? <laughs> and it's wow. crazy to think that you were thinking, and same thing, Iron Man came out a year before this movie, and just thinking that, man, we're in this golden age of comic movies coming up, and it shows that it doesn't matter when, 
how much the genre changes, stuff can still sneak through. And this is just crazy to think the high, high of Dark Knight and then the, on the low lows of this. Uh, yeah, it's a bad movie. Let's talk uh, about this. I did not even realize that. Especially crazy, when we were right? joking about the product of its time. It's like, <laughs> it's like this not came out after Iron Man and yeah. Dark Knight. And has so. no ex- there's yeah. no product of its time anymore. We're, <laughs> we're, we're in that time where it's like you're, you knew better. Yeah. So even X3, I go, you know what? It's fine. You were kind of figuring stuff <laughs> out. You and Spider-Man were like the first to really kick this off. But after Dark Knight, Batman Begins, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, like it's time to smarten up, you know? Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Kyle, you start. Well, well yeah. <laughs> I'm just like mind blown at, to like put that in perspective. Yeah, yeah. When 100%. I came in. Yeah, I uh, I guess for me, so is the studio completely different, or is it just because the directors are different? Uh, it's same studio, same Fox studio. It yeah. would be the director, but then I also just think the studio at times when a franchise gets more successful, I think they put their fingers in the pot a lot more. Being you should do this or you got to do this, and that's where uh, he's never been specific. But the yeah. director just said it was very tough to make this film. With uh, it didn't feel like, and who knows, he could have had a crap vision, but it felt like, hey, I'm gonna make this movie. Okay, do that, and then they come and be like, oh, but we want you to do this or we want you to change that or like. Uh, or Ryan he could Ran- have had a grid vision, and then they just screwed it up because they wanted him to do something else. Well, yeah, Ryan Reynolds has been on record for many years saying that he was telling them the whole time, like, this is a bad idea, what you're doing with Deadpool, everything like this. But they're like, no, no, this is what we're going to do, and you know, maybe eventually you get your film down the line. And he hated it, but he said the only reason he played it is just because he didn't want anyone else playing it for the fact of if they did make one, which luckily they it did happen years later, and it took them leaking the footage for it to happen, but he just did it because... Well, I want to at least get a chance to do it, so that's why he did it. But this, so it sounds like from multiple angles, this just wasn't a good production overall. And Hugh Jackman's been a record after the movie saying he was, I think it's my trivia, he was disappointed with the movie and the way it came out. So all around, it just sounded like it just didn't just didn't click. It just sounded like it, every day they were hungry and everyone was in a bad mood and it just didn't work out. So, Wow. Yeah. Not a recipe for success. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not getting that, that those foggy meals. You yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> They're getting like a hungry man <laughs> <Yeah>. microwave. A <laughs> <laughs> little so. bit over its expiry date. I'll say the best thing to come out of this is like uh, shots of you, Jackman, who was just oh, looking man. great Look, in this movie. His hair was true. impeccable. Yeah, this Kyle, when you asked me a few days ago, like, what are you doing with your hair? Like, you know, th- that's that's going to be the goal now, you know, that <laughs> seeing his hair. You, Jackman? You oh, get yeah. Some chops Grown too, not that, but just the hair. His <laughs> hair's so wavy and nice, oh, and it's so wavy. I can do it. Look, it, this is the mini version right yeah. now. Oh yeah, I'm working on it. But uh, it's yeah, it's, it's not the pompadour he has sure to whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll get there. It'll get there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess so. Let's just begin this and go because there's so much to jump into. Let's just do what we always do now. Uh, begin this movie. We get the flashback. We're not even. It's not even a flashback because the movie begins. We begin with Victor and little little, little Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh his dad. Yeah, little Jimmy. His dad's packing him in. Not packing. He's. he's <laughs> 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 no. He's uh. What the fuck is that called? Tucking him in. He's <laughs> tucking him <laughs> in. He's <laughs> packing him in. His dad's a. Pedophile. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus, it. man. <laughs> so, anyways, his dad seems like a nice guy. Victor, your dad's downstairs. He's drunk again. That's not my name he's calling, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the dialogue in this movie oh. is even shit. before his dad just comes in, oh, he's just like he's like you're always sick. <laughs> <laughs> he's like I'm sorry, you were you were like this when you were my age. It reminds no. you when Taylor does gauntlet promos, you know. Um, <laughs> and then you got whatever some creeds down there. This is just a big reveal that Victor, Logan, Jimmy, and Victor have the same dad. Victor kills Logan's like adopted dad. His mom ousts him because like, what are you? Logan has his bone claws just at the right moment because it's like all this is going on the bone. It, this whole everything, everything about just this opening is awful and it, it's just cheesy and it's bad and it's just it's not needed. Like I get it. Uh, I guess it is needed to establish them as a like a brother duo, yeah. but. It, they no, didn't even this, feel like brothers at all. This way... No, it didn't feel like brothers. This way of doing it was not needed, so... Yeah, not good. I seriously didn't even know they were, like, actually blood brothers till now. Like, I'm not even kidding. Well, they're like, not in the comics. The whole movie? Okay. Well, yeah, in the comics, they're just... They are on Weapon X together, and they're okay. always rivals. Yeah, so. but, like, watching the movie... Like, okay, my brother is just like, okay, that's what you say with someone. Like, if they're that close from, like, yeah. I don't know, at that age, I guess you could call him the brother, but, like, I didn't know that was his actual, like, birth... <laughs> It was pretty much 
pretty pretty much a mess. I I can't even. I I'm just like speechless. So at the beginning, when they're going through this movie, what we're when we're going through this movie, like these kids, like they don't even establish like I guess they kind of establish that they're brothers, but like not no, really at no, all. Like hundred percent not. Well, it's just that quick scene of just we're brothers now because they got the same father and then they stick together. Yeah, I thought they, they were they brothers the because brothers. Brothers. they had the same mutant thing. Yeah. No, they're That's brothers because they got the same dad. Yeah. Why wouldn't the dad say the same thing? Like, let him know. Like, why does this? Wh- this is what I don't get. Why is Logan finding out the first time? That's not his dad. Like they. Been lying okay. to him this whole time. Well, that's just like drunk. So clearly, his mom had an affair with Victor's dad, right? Okay, yeah. And so what different I'm moms. What I'm ta- no, no, no. Same mom. Yeah. What or yeah, sorry, different mom. Yeah. What I'm taking from the scene is the mom has an affair with uh, Victor Senior, and Victor Senior wants to tell Logan or Jimmy that's his son. She's not letting him. That's why he oh. breaks in. He's drunk. He has the gun. The dad doesn't know. He kills the dad, and then Logan gets the blown. The blow claws, the bone claws kills him and, you know, son and the big reveal. And, yeah. They could have said that way better. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm, not, I'm just telling you what they were trying Travis to go just explained for. it better. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think they needed to be brothers. I think they – I don't mind it because they try to pull that uh, that vine a couple times in this movie, which mm-hmm. I don't mind. But, it, yeah, this whole – the. I don't like the setting of it. It feels very cheesy, but I yeah. just think it's all all done very poorly, and it's very quick. And I, I guess I just didn't realize how old um, Wolverine is. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, which I guess now is good to know. And that's the one thing like I do like, and Kirk, you might talk more about the 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 Jimmy stuff, but I love the credits of this movie. Them going through all the different wars that I love. I oh think, no, hundred percent. Yeah, I think that is the best part of this movie. And then yeah, it just knows that. But I remember in the theater spent this movie's gonna fucking kick ass. Like, look at this. Like, they're going through all these different eras. It's smart. But yeah, the opening not good. But I wanted to be clear that like the, to me, the opening was the Jimmy eighteen hundred yeah. stuff. The credits, fantastic. Yeah. Best parts of the movie. Yeah. No, I like. Like on script, <laughs> <laughs> I I would say that I I like the intro scene because um like I I, I knew about uh like Logan's like backstory about like he actually is from like the eighteen hundreds grew up in like or was born in northern Canada yeah, yeah. No, yeah like so that stuff's cool you know shouts out the homeboy mm-hmm. the, the local guy <laughs> but uh so like in my mind uh going into it it's like this is kind of neat that they're touching upon like his actual like origin story before he was even logan like bef- when his name was actually james what's his last name howlett howlett okay i'll forget that in about two minutes but um uh yeah like i, I kind of like that and then uh but like the way they delivered it and like the way that like um victor just see like he just seemed like just such an asshole like right off the bat it's just like you're sh- like you're so weak blah 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 like, and then like I guess when they escape, he's kind of like, well, it's just you and me now. Like, we kind of have to look after each other. So you're kind of forced to be like that. And then you don't really, like, I don't know, like, you don't really get the impression from little Jimmy <laughs> that, uh, like, he kind of feels the same way. It's just like he's just, he's so confused because he literally just found out his dad wasn't his dad. He killed his real dad. And mm-hmm. his mom doesn't have, want anything to do with him. A he's lot a to go down so in a minute. In, like, literally less than a minute. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> and he's and sick. And he, yeah, and he's sick. We don't really understand that. We don't know why. why. I think the idea was, he w- like, his mutation was Happening. coming on. Okay. Yeah. But oh, okay. So then that happened to Victor. Is that why he said this happened to you? And yeah, I okay. think so. That I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, 10 out of 10 movie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read between so the lines. I like yeah. it. So they escape off of the woods and then, yeah, insert that, like, s- the... I guess it's like the multiple scenes where they show like the different wars. Oh, it was so sick! And like yeah, seeing Hugh Jackman wearing like the World War Two, like they're in the or he's uh he's got a c- cigar yeah. on the boat going through like the D Day Normandy. Yeah. Oh, that was so mm-hmm. sick! And Victor's there with them. That was actually really well done as well too. Yeah, oh, yeah. and uh, the Vietnam. Victor's starting to just go a little psycho. <laughs> <laughs> he tries, and that's where it was dark. Is they do imply that he was gonna sexually oh, assault yeah, that woman. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and it's just cra- and that's where it's like this movie gets really dark, but. Very strained at the same time, but mm. and also for a comic fun fact, most people probably know this, but in the comics in World War Two, obviously they couldn't do this in the movie, but he does meet Steve Rogers, then they know oh. each other. So that's oh, cool. really? then they meet back up in present day. It's like, oh, I know that guy. Because, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 So huh. hopefully, in uh, huh. hopefully, if we get a Wolverine X Men movie, they flash back to World War Two. You can bring in uh, 
Chris Evans, even if he's dead, we don't know at this point because we're recording before Endgame, but he could bring him back for a fun flashback of, oh, yeah, I, I That'd be Captain cool. America. So would, I'm sure the fans would love that, too. I hope they do oh, that. Yeah. Everybody um, loves Chris Evans. So at that point, uh, they show through all the wars. The Vietnam thing does not go well. Wasn't Wonder Woman in those? Oh, wrong universe. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they kidnap them after the Vietnam incident, and uh, there's a firing <laughs> squad. And uh, wake me up when it's over. <laughs> and they shoot them. And then we're introduced to William Stryker, young William Stryker. He's talking about an opportunity to really make a difference, blah, I blah, blah. <laughs> I love how he keeps saying it. It's like your country needs you. And then because when I was watching <laughs> oh, this, yeah. when I was watching it, I was like, this doesn't make sense. They're not even the same country or whatever. And I'm really glad that he mentions that later because afterwards yeah. he's like, I'm Canadian. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's just funny. I love uh, it. And I think I didn't touch upon, but yeah, <laughs> I think the reason is they don't flesh out the brother thing, but I think it's just to show that they were hunted down. So they just depend on each other. Even if like Logan doesn't necessarily like Victor, it's just he's the only person I have because – when people are going to try and kill me, he saved me, right? And yeah. they, so that's why. I think it's very thin, but that's why they're supposed to be together, right? It's not that they get along, that they are brothers. It's just like, it's just, and especially at that point, they may have been some of the first mutants around the world, right? So they would have not, th- they would have thought they were maybe just those two versus mm-hmm. the world. And now there's mm-hmm. all these people popping up. But yeah, he says, I got opportunity, blah, blah, blah. You can be a part of this task force team. And then we get introduced to a bunch of people. Get Agent Zero. You get uh, Blob before he's Blob, so he's just Fred. <laughs> Fred, Will you get I am uh, Good there. Wade Wilson. Yeah, you get Will I Am, who is <laughs> awful. He is awful in this movie. Every scene he is in, it's just nails on a chalkboard. For me, I just oh, think he's just not cut out to be an actor. His delivery is just dry, and it's just. It's just not good. It's not good stuff. His little accent he has. Uh, movie. Yeah, it's who else good. is in there? I got Wade. I got Will. I am uh, I Agent Ryan. Zero. Blob. Yeah, that's Wade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Sabretooth. Yeah, I think. Oh, and um, Blink. Uh, Dominic Monaghan. Um, Mary oh. from Lord Forgot of the Rings. He was even in this movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we get the whole mission of them. They're taking out this base to get these jewels. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about the team? What do you think about this mission? Whole just the sequence. Um, we'll get into like you know the breakup after, but just the it's in- <laughs> definitely nothing special. Mm-hmm. Like uh, they basically just let Zero just take care of like everything right at the beginning. He just goes in. I guess it's kind of a cool like sequence because it's just great scene. He's flipping everyone, yeah. just shooting the fuck out of people. Yeah, he just he just mm-hmm. bops off on everyone, and uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like anyone really did anything else other than Blink. He's like take us down. He's just like controlling the ship for some reason. Even though they have a pilot, didn't really understand. But uh, I digress. Um, uh, I see a lot of notes on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I like do. Do I talk about the, the whole scene? Even like when they yeah, I'd say yeah. Uh, up until like once they get that. Ad- uh, yeah, they're looking for Adam Antin. They don't say it, but up until like the the camp scene where things go to shit. So that whole okay. Like, so uh, yeah, and then um, I don't know. Like I kind of like Ryan Reynolds, Wade Wilson before he's actually Deadpool. It's just classic Ryan Reynolds where he's mm-hmm. just he's got those funny little one liners and he's himself. So like he's he, he's. he's funny he's deadpool in that yeah. scene and i remember like obviously we get to the the weapon love and stuff later but i remember the first time i saw this being like i need a deadpool movie right yeah. away and thank god now we live in a world where we have two we t- just talked about extra two, two of them yeah we just talked about extra with juggernaut like juggernauts in on these movies but it's just like it's so crazy though when i remember thinking in that theory like i hope we get it and it just felt like we never were gonna but even in, and that's why i still think that when people are worried about i think he's gonna stay rated r but he, i still think Deadpool can work in PG-13 because, yeah, he's not swearing and being, like, gross, but I like all his one-liners in this movie. I yeah. like, like, oh, Graham's stuck in an elevator with five guys stuck on a high-protein yeah. diet. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. about, uh, oh, about his, uh, oh, I like the I like that you dress in green. It matches your eyes. And then he's just like, do you ever shut up? No, not when I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or not uh, only when I'm asleep. Like, yeah. just he has great one. And even there's one moment, too, when he does, which is great, does the cool, like, swords and whatnot mm. and it starts like oh you'd be the best soldier if you didn't have that mouth mouth and he does the salute and then when he salutes he just like throw it like it yeah. just like he just it like we've talked about yeah. this in another movie review, but he is he's just deadpool and that's why i still think even if they plug him to avengers they can work around it like i don't think for me the sex and the the radar stuff is good i still think it's, that should yeah. happen but yeah. i think he can make that character still work and uh and they still say shit in the MCU. They still do stuff. Mm-hmm. They still have, like, Peter Quill and Guardians has some pretty, like, racy jokes and whatnot. So mm-hmm. I still think he could work. And yeah. Ryan Reynolds is 
this, that's what along the war thing. That's the best part of this movie too. Is just this five minutes he's in where he gets to be. Oh Deadpool. yeah, and it's actually yeah. five minutes, which yeah. is unfortunate. But, yeah. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> he was on posters, yeah. everything, and yeah. Wow. It's, it's kind of off the track of the movie, but uh, did you ever end up seeing the PG thirteen Deadpool thing? Yeah, and I liked it a lot. Yeah. Like it's, it was pretty mixed with some people, but I same thing. I think it can work because they yeah. added scenes and just the way they edit around stuff. I think to me the character, even in comics, people be like, oh, he's so rare in comic books. Kyle knows it's like. They still bleep. They don't show the F word. They'll no. they show a bunch of symbols. Yeah. If there's nudity, they might show like a bear. But but it's never like people make it out like oh the comics are so radar. It's not really. They're not. Radar. They're really like a really high PG thirteen. Like I think it's just fanboys that are just like oh he needs to be you know talking about girls. Like you can be, but like yeah. those are still censored quite a bit. So I mm-hmm. he can still easily work. Yeah. And I I don't. There's never been the F bomb dropped in an MCU movie, but. You do get one in every PG thirteen movie, and if you're gonna, he's the perfect character oh, to get totally, to drop yeah. that, and he <laughs> can make a joke about that. So I, re- I, d- I really hope that does happen, just because I would love to see him and Chris Evans, him and Downey together. Oh, it's just man. like that's a wet dream, <laughs> like that just be crazy. You're just thinking about like the movie Thor Ragnarok and planting like Deadpool in that oh. type of movie. Like there's Jeez, so much it's getting chills. It's crazy when you think about like. Like, think about you in the theater watching this movie Mm -hmm. and being like, man, I need to get Deadpool. And then now we have two Deadpool movies. And think about, like, where we're going to be at when... Who knows if Deadpool will actually be there? Like you said with Downey oh well, they said they're gonna, they said no matter. I don't know if he'll be in that. I, I think there could be a better chance of them bringing those characters into a Deadpool movie than Deadpool going into their movie because yeah. they could have some fun with it. But I'm they've said they're gonna make Deadpool movies just because Feige he went on record when we record this. He's like, why would you break something that's not broken? So oh, 100%. they want to keep Ray R and they know it's a character and they've pretty much been on record saying they're keeping Ryan Reynolds. He's the only thing when we're doing this retro. He's legitimately the only thing surviving this purchase is. Phoenix, that whole cast can be gone, but they're smart to know Reynolds is where it is. Reynolds is very, and that's the same thing. It's one. This is a role where that's why he did this. The reason he isn't so much is because he had the Baraka pool and whatnot. But it was written this way for him to not be in it that much. It wasn't like a scheduling conflict or anything like that. But he still did it because he's like, I know it's just like a cameo, but I want to have yeah. like my stake on that role. Like I want people to know like that's me. So that's why he's not in it that much because mm-hmm. they didn't intend on casting Ryan Reynolds. I imagine he didn't even take much money for this. He's just yeah. been very passionate. And it's crazy to think 10 years later where he is just like everyone loves him. And like yeah. he's it was one time I think it's still one of the biggest Ray R openings. Of the, you know, it has broken all these records. And it's crazy to think like our parents know who Deadpool is. Mm-hmm. Where in this movie, he's just some guy with katanas who jokes. You know, oh, like yeah. It, yeah. there's no fanfare given to him especially when we get to what they do to him <laughs> later but there's no fanfare to this like great yeah. character just he's another care he's just another, another task dude. x yeah. member yeah. so yep. crazy the impact though that like deadpool has on it because like oh, I, yeah. I work with like older people that like aren't really into comic books but like oh i went and saw deadpool it was hilarious and then mm-hmm. like, they'll talk about it and i'm just like man like reynolds just <laughs> killed it he's come <laughs> a long way from this <laughs> <laughs> yes absolutely i mean those five minutes were <laughs> Yeah, it may, who knows? Like, who knows where it would have been if you didn't do that, right? Oh yeah, if they would have just probably him. cast some other actor, Dane yeah. Cook. You'd be in there, and <laughs> there <you laughs> <go>. the movie <laughs> was probably the most important thing of his career. Easily, <laughs> e- easy was though, because <laughs> yeah. there's a chance if this doesn't happen, he doesn't get Deadpool, and yeah. you know, so yeah. Uh, Kyle, Kyle, let's get a little rant about yeah. uh, that. Was really good. Do you have yeah. stuff to add on this little task force? X uh, I think we're in the. Oh yeah, so. I, I I liked when he came to the room and he just pops off. He just goes in there, mm-hmm. looks like a Jedi, just mm-hmm. slicing bullets. Cuts those two guys with the one bullet. That was pretty neat. They do that exact same in de- a scene in Deadpool two. I don't know if you remember this, but he does the whole thing where he does the he cuts the bowl in half and it goes. By. I've only seen that movie once. So all three. So he it. does that, and then he also does the thing where he he's throwing a katana like this. But in this <laughs> in that movie, Cable just shoots the fuck out of him, and he like when he's done, he <laughs> looks down, he's just like covered in bullets. So it's like a nice <laughs> tribute to. Uh, so great movie. when they do yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm kind of confused because uh, d- I thought Wade like used like every weapon, not just like he was very specific know, in yeah. this movie to be like, oh, I only use this cantana or whatever, this sword, and I was like, okay, like that's kind of weird. But I think they just one, he didn't have much screen time, so they just want to like bring up that he loves these swords, and two, they want to make that's the reason why he has them in his arms well, later because like oh yeah. those are his weapons of choice right so i, I think guess. that's <laughs> it's got like a bad taste i didn't i didn't write that. this movie i know, <laughs> I know that's that, that, that's like when everything started like really like clicking over i was like wait like this like i know like ryan like does all this stuff but like this kind of changed things completely <laughs> I was like, okay, okay where are we going with this and like meeting all these other characters going through like 
it felt like what's that movie Expendables? Yeah, when they're all like that, yeah. we're all on the plane, like all the trotchy guys, and they start like making fun of each other or whatever, like a hoorah, like you yeah. just met her last night, friend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I love her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that that was that's exactly what it felt like. But um, I don't know, it was uh, all right. The mm. whole like oh. opening sequence. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I just don't. I didn't really think about this part. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm. It, yeah, I, I agree it with happened. what you mentioned though. It definitely felt like a little Expendables crew where it just. Mm-hmm. I don't know, a bunch of ho- yahoos all coming together. And that's the thing. I like the idea of this Task Force X team, but it's just for a first act thing. Like, he, mm-hmm. he meets Stryker, he's in the team, and then they break up right away. Like, I wish we almost would have saw a few missions of them doing stuff and see mm-hmm. some rapport. That's a whole different movie, but I think mm-hmm. that's a better movie than what we got because I like I liked the mutants. Like I said, I actually like Agent Zero. They make mm-hmm. them cool. I like, you know, Fred just hits a tank, but whatever. Like, I Just the fact that we meet them and then we break them up the first meeting is... Mm-hmm is crazy because it's just like i don't know had they done more missions before yeah. this or was this <laughs> the first time and logan's like fuck this like i don't know like it's just it's very strange and even the history they give of this like task force x team it's it's and like i said it's disappointing because i think i like i would have liked the idea of just these mutants that are mercenaries like that's what i don't know if it's gonna happen but that's what x force kind of is so maybe we'll see in the future but um yeah i think there was potential there but nothing nothing really came of this no, no nothing not stuck all. No, it's just give characters. And then at that point, they are they're trying to find Adamantium. They didn't find what they're looking for. They go to the camp. Well, they did like well that that's well, what it I was. Well, I think they were right? looking or for more just, of oh, it okay, though, yeah. right? Because I think right. whatever. Because then they go down to like the people's tribes camp, whatever. Tell and me where it is. A- everybody is now just turned into a fucking psychopath. Like even Wade <laughs> at one point, they just shoot to him, and he's like he's like cutting people <laughs> down. And it's just like everyone seemed like, and that's what I mean. And that was I wish there was some build up or and I get it. Logan leaves, but it's just like everyone kind of is acting kind of fine. Um, but so the guy will not tell them and they he's like, Oh, we're going to kill all your people. Logan doesn't like this. He stops some people. He says he's going to leave. He asks Victor if he's coming. Victor says, no, Victor yells a bunch. And then we get a jump forward. I don't know. A few years I later. Lo- it was so funny. He's like, you know, we can't just let you leave. What did they do? They they, they, they let him leave. <laughs> they let him leave, yeah. <laughs> and then they sh- shoots to an awesome shot of the Canadian Rockies and Hugh Jackman coming out <laughs> 4 o'clock in the morning. Some of his hair just looking perfect. Oh, his yeah. body's looking perfect. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Has changed, hasn't changed his hairstyle at all, no. you know? <laughs> and then we meet, uh, we meet uh, what is the name? Kayla. I, Kayla, yeah. Silver Fox is her new name, but Kayla. What do you guys think about Kayla in there? Obviously, there's some... Windy, <laughs> Kyle, you start. Obviously, there's some twists. I don't know <laughs> if you want to bring the twists with her now. Uh, Not that I'm worried about you spoiling stuff. I'm just going to mm. let you give the floor. Whatever you want to talk about, Kayla, you go ahead. Me and Kirkland will follow. I, I guess, like, it was just a very, like, sh- she was in, like, a, a bland character for me. Like, there wasn't really anything happening. I was pretty bored. And just more of a filler for um, Wolverine to have some sort of love interest. Yeah. And I think, actually, this is where like it really started kicking in where it's like oh this like this is like the prequel to like all of this other four stuff uh so, sorry uh four stuff um, <laughs> <laughs> x x x men yeah because that's the yeah this is where it, uh, it's funny for, for me that this is where it kicked in like this is whole <laughs> prequel and but like the whole oh, I like think travis missed that i know <laughs> The whole, like, them and their interconnection that they have, like, mm-hmm. this relationship does not really feel real, and it just feels no. like... Definitely a facade, it oh, felt like. Yeah. yeah. And you could definitely tell that, he, like, I feel like Hugh Jackman sells this love really, really well. Like, he's in love with this girl, you know, he's doing better, like, yeah. his ch- things are changing up for him, so he's, like, moving forward, but, like, for her... Like she doesn't seem like this at all. She's like, "Oh yeah, I'm just here. Like <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a school teacher." Yeah. And it is revealed though that she did love him though. Yeah. It, well, you missed it. But yeah. anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna get a cord so we don't die over here. <laughs> wow. You missed it, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I just think they don't have good chemistry whatsoever. That's what I was been saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you also missed that. This is the point that tra- or Kyle thought or Kyle realized it was a prequel. <laughs> <laughs> this like well, this is really like what kicked in. I was like, oh, this is like, yeah, yeah. But not not the a- not the stuff in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> well, n- it could no. always be flashbacks. I, well, you don't start a movie with a flashback. Then you'd he'd like wake up. Okay. Well, that's why I kind of thought it was going on. Mm. They did that with uh, uh, Jean Grey X three. That was a flashback. But then we flash forward right away. Okay. Like the pr- it'd be like if the scene started with little Jimmy and then you got up to him like waking up in the Kootenays. Well, like, oh, what? I, I guess that's what I thought with them like 
I guess the flashback would be them in the beginning and then going straight to the X-Force or whatever that they have. This isn't worth discussing. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, anything else on Kayla? No, she's pretty bland. Yeah. And I, I don't think she sells this love. Like, yeah, even though she says uh, he lo- she loves her, but the whole chemistry is awful. Like, there's nothing going on. Like, it's just... It just it's super flat, and I feel bad for Hugh Jackman. It's a far cry from Gene, who they <laughs> yeah. even had like all right chemistry, but yeah, yeah, no, I not much to add. Like, she was very just bland, like nothing really special. Like, I agree with the chemistry; it wasn't anything that I was like, "Oh, these guys would be perfect together." <laughs> it's just like she just feels like such a, like a filler for mm-hmm. like a love interest that they needed to have, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, which explains the the plot twist yeah no but is this like i don't know if this is the actresses kind of doing or is the writing doing or a bit of a and b (laughs) equals c yeah (laughs) i i like i try not to like unless your name's jared leto i usually try not to call (laughs) you out i i don't i've not i've only seen her in one other thing i don't think she's the strongest actress i think she's a beautiful looking woman i think that's what they oh man their jeans would have been Oh yeah, that kid would have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and maybe it is just that. Maybe she's a good actress, and they just didn't have chemistry. But whatever. And I do think it's writing because same thing. She's the same thing as Task Force X. So you don't get much time with her, right? It's like yeah. this is all in chunks. You know, it's like Logan Victor together chunk. Okay, that's over. Task Force X chunk. That's over. They she gets killed off pretty quickly. I should have mm-hmm. timed it, but from the point we meet her to the point that Victor like takes her out, well, yeah, it's what. 20, 15, well, 20 minutes? Because they're at the yeah. house, You can't build right? any relationship on that in a movie, really. Oh, never mind. I, I was I was combining the two, uh, like, uh, fuck, what would you even call those things? Where the lumberjacks work? The lumber mill. Oh, yeah, so the like, two scenes. I, I, yeah. I thought he goes to work, and then that's when shit hits the fan, but he, I, I forgot that yeah, Stryker goes, comes, yeah. and then he has he, this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Something's bad's happening, because I guess, because what happens, we meet them, they're kind of, I guess they're in love, blah, blah, blah. They're thinking, well, Logan's thinking about having kids, right? Because he sees that kid and he's just like, oh, that could be my life. Like, just I whatever. I definitely miss that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because, yeah, he's going to pick her up from school and he sees, like, a kid run into a father's arms and he's like, like, it's just like the obvious, like, okay, so he's okay. thinking about yeah. it. They okay. don't mention that, but yeah. I think it's that. You get them talking about that fucking whatever, how he gets his name, the Wolverine, the Ku- Kuatsu or whatever. Yeah. The tr- story of the trickster and I kind of like that. I don't know. I didn't. I liked. I was fine there. I didn't like it at the end when the twist happens with and her. And he's like, back to it. and he's like, I thought I was the moon, but oh. really you're just a trick. <laughs> I was like, I thought I was the Wolverine to, to your moon. Or <laughs> yeah, something I'm like, like they're yeah. gonna, they are trying to make this deep mythology no. really work, and it didn't work in no, the final no, thing. There, 100 percent agree with you. Because at first, like when they're kind of having that moment, and she's like kind of explaining, and then it comes down to like the Wolverine, mm. and then I'm like, okay, that's kind of nice, mm. but like that so could have just been like one and done. Yeah, like, and then they had to that. bring it back, and it's like, ugh, they're they're trying so hard here. Yeah. Can we s- skip to the twist? Is that too soon? Since we can talk talking about because we're talking about her. Because the yeah. only thing I was going to add is in between the reason Striker comes to him is because Blink gets killed off Dominic Monaghan before we get back to her. He's just like at a carnival doing. I don't even understand what that game is. Like you try and turn off the light. And well, then it's not. He's just always getting at money, right? Oh, because I know. Yeah. I know. But like the idea, it's like I'm going to give this guy a dollar. Like. No. Yeah, so to try to prove him wrong, right? Yeah. Okay. You oh, can do I, it. I agree okay. with you. I'm never gonna give this guy a fucking <laughs> yeah. dollar. Like, clearly he's at a dumb. carnival. <laughs> yeah. He's just sitting there yeah, with like his light bulb. Clearly, yeah. it's rigged. He's at a carnival as a job. I'm not gonna fucking do this. But yeah. his little douchey guy, like, oh no! And then he unscrews the light and it breaks it. No, he's like, that's a dull. I like that. He's like, that's a lame trick. He didn't figure it out. And then Don Juan is just like. It's not a trick, man. <laughs> and then, whatever. And then his girlfriend's like, ooh, Sabretooth kills him. And that's when Stryker comes and like, hey, we need to team up. Or, or you know, so he doesn't yeah. even know it's Sabretooth at this point. Mm-hmm. And then we lead to her getting killed. But that's why I'll bring it back to Twist because we find out that she was not killed. Kyle, you want to talk about the... Even the delivery of her giving that she is in love with him was awful. Like, it was so bland. Like, I didn't believe it. She was like, but, but I did love. I you. did, lo- and he's like, and you can see Striker pulls out his gun, like you don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. He's like her pimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, you can't say. It. Remember, remember the deal that you had. Yeah. But my sister, and like I, I only did this so I could save my sister. But like it was so like, 
don't know if I've ever seen Kyle just <laughs> triggered by a movie. <laughs> <laughs> just like your whole acting of William Stryker there. <laughs> well, that's the problem with this movie. Like, not the problem. problem. But <laughs> they, they just have to, like, all that stuff's laid on so thick. You'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. I assume <laughs> that <laughs> there's something going on here that yeah. maybe she does love him, but they got to lay on thick. Like, no, she does love him. That's why he's yeah. showing. Like, she can't say anything. Yeah. I don't know. And then, okay, to even go this is like towards the ending, mm-hmm. <laughs> I legitimately thought when Logan went to go to get her again, like to pick her up from the rubble, that it was going to be uh, Weapon X. Or, sorry, X11. 11. 11. Weapon X11. <laughs> <laughs> Just 11. Just 11. <laughs> I thought it was going to be 11. What do you mean? Like, I thought sh- he would, like, was using his contro- mind control to, like, think make logan think that he didn't have mind control though but he had all the mutant powers in, t- in him what mutant had mind control no but, he mi- had, no but like he only had the mutant powers of the task force x team he didn't have like a bunch of them or like some of the ones that kidnapped like cyclops but mm-hmm. we didn't see any telepathic uh mutants there so we could assume that he doesn't have that power even though emma frost is a telepath but they don't show them this movie and who's emma frost again diamond girl okay but even with the um, he doesn't have telepathic powers. But doesn't this girl have the power to like touch and then convince them that there's something else? But Deadpool, the Weapon Eleven, doesn't have her powers. Why wouldn't she? Why because w- he uh, they didn't experiment uh, experiment on her. She's been out there playing with Logan, right? Oh, do they wouldn't extract her DNA so they can add it on. I guess not. Well Striker's not everything, because but that. th- that's what I was th- I thought, and that way, like when she went to go pick her up, like it wasn't actually her. It was like Weapon X. But the problem is with your scene, the thing that I'm paying out, so he looks in the rubble and he sees Weapon X and he still goes picks him up. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's really making... Oh. I, I thought like it was like a, tr- like a trickster <laughs> and like it would be like a, a jinx, no. and, but Remember, not at all. Remember, she was the trickster yeah. and I was the fool. <laughs> yeah, and that's why like even like him, like oh, even though he's like, sh- isn't he like shirtless and like carrying her like... No, he has a tank top on. A tank top. Carrying her stealing. into the sunset and like she's like flopped over well because me and Kirk- oh. kirkland oh. pulled a kyle he had to watch the last 15 minutes at my place today <laughs> <Nice>. and <laughs> it's so funny so like i know we're all over whatever <laughs> that that's this movie so that whole fight happens right yeah. and the whole big rubble yeah. falls yeah. down yeah. at this point what happened was kayla was with the kids helping them escape and she gets shot accidentally we don't know that oh but she got shot yeah Oh, that would make Emma Frost. She blocks the bullets, and but one then goes one into gets her. Through. Yeah, they don't show that right away, but they reveal that, like, because she's like, "Oh, and well, I don't even think Emma Frost knows that she got shot." No, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. Are you okay? I must have like, missed that part because I was so confused why she died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would be a big question, right? <laughs> and that's why I was like, "What <laughs> happened with this movie?" They, she fell from this rubble, okay, well, and now she's <laughs> no. dead. So what I was saying is so she gets shot, right? And then she tells Emma to go because she wants to find Logan because yeah. she loves him, whatever, Whatever, fine. yeah. And so this big fight happens, and then just at one point there's smoke, and she's just like, Logan, <laughs> Logan. <laughs> and he looks, and she's just on the ground, and it's just like, what are you doing here? Like, <laughs> there's a huge fight happening. And I said to Kirkland, imagine if she ran out like Logan and the rubble just fucking <laughs> collapsed on her. And he had no idea where she was. It's like, stay with those people. Yeah. You've been shot. Like, yeah. don't, or at least stay in the facility. Don't go in this fucking oh, bed. Like, oh, Deadpool's 100%. popping off with his optic blast. Like, and then, mm-hmm. yeah, she dies because she's the one gunshot took her out and everything like that. And yeah, yeah all oh, around. Such a mess. And the other thing that was a mess because we went over it, but. I hate this even since the day I saw it. Her death scene makes zero sense. Oh, a hundred percent. She's covered in Wait, blood. Wait, which one? The fir- like the fake out the one. The fake one. Okay. No, the fir- no the first the second one does make sense. She got shot, shot right? Yeah, so whatever. Well, that she makes got. sense to me now. It was <laughs> yeah. You just thought she just had an expiration date and died. <laughs> yeah. But like the first scene, like okay, so they shoot her with some like thing to slow her heartbeat down, and then save her too, just. Like throw some blood on her and like that's it. Logan doesn't check at all for no cuts, no, no nothing. And he's like heightened senses. How would he not be able to smell that <laughs> yeah. it's not actually blood? And <laughs> even then, okay, let's say she is dead. What did he do? He left his dead wife in the woods to oh, go take yeah. on Victor. Fine, you can go take on Victor, but at least bring her back to your place, bear. Her. He just left her life was probably be picked apart by bears and birds. What a piece of shit! <laughs> like the whole, it, all of it is such. 
just it's such a mess. It's such, such a mess from beginning to end. 100%. And yeah, it's just yeah, and it's one of those things where she when she does die, I'm like at the time, like good, I don't need to see this. Well, you're, you're not emotionally again. involved with that character no, whatsoever. Not at like all, she's no. so bland. She's so just like a filler for like a love interest. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like she's a plot device to get him to be angry. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, do you want to go back? Well, did you have anything you want to add on Kayla uh, before? Uh, I'm sure no. she'll pop up again. I think we've, I think we've talked enough about. Okay, her. so at that point, like I said, a bunch of stuff happens. There's some scenes, cuckoo, cuckoo, the Wolverine, all that <laughs> stuff. Blink gets killed, or a uh, blight. Sorry, not Blink. Blink is a different X Men. I think it's Blight. I could be wrong, but it's not Blink. Um, uh. Stryker makes an offer, blah blah blah. I like that scene at the at the lumber mill though, when uh, Stryker comes and talks to him, and then even like when Zero was sitting there, and he, yeah, and yeah, he's like, go sit in the car or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, that's that that one line that I I already mentioned, but when he's like, Gonna your country it? needs you, yeah. and he's yeah. like, I'm Canadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just yeah. drives Why off. Why do I, I care? Yeah. 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 And then Kayla's supposedly dead, and then this leads to the big bar fight with uh, Sabretooth and Wolverine. Right. And then. Uh, uh, Striker kind of meets up with Wolverine in the hospital because they take him to the hospital and they <laughs> open up his shirt and all his wounds are healed. I like the doctor. He's like, what is this, some type of choke? Mm-hmm. Like, I like that. But what do you guys think about that initial uh, Sabretooth Wolverine fight scene kind of like the bar I like this. Area. I like the setting a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like a barn bar and uh, just kicks down the door. <laughs> the guy's like, whatever you got going on. Do you have insurance in this place? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. You should. <laughs> yeah. And then, Can uh, you guys take this outside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just pulls out his claws and everyone just fucks off. So, yeah. I, I, like, I like the setting of it. It was a pretty quick fight overall, but... Uh, Sabretooth just fucks him up. Actually, he doesn't even have metal claws at no, that point. No, at this point, he's still no. just yeah. Bone Jimmy. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Bone what. Jimmy. Bone Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy no, Bones. I thought the bar scene was pretty good. Like, the f- the fight, anyways. It was, like, decently well done. And, like, it showed like, kind of the motions between the two of them. Yeah. A bit. But, like, I guess now I'm thinking, why? Oh, right, because he's sure that Victor killed his wife. Oh, yeah. But at this point, before we get the twist, we have no idea why Victor would do that. Right. Well, yeah. when Stryker came, he's like, d- doesn't he say Victor's on a rampage or something? But why wouldn't Victor just go after Logan? Oh, because right. uh, mind games, right? He wants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess mind oh, games. No, because they want uh, they want to trick Logan to get the. No, I know that's yeah. why they want to. Yeah, but, but I mean, but like why? in the movie when we're watching it at first, it's like, <laughs> why is Victor doing, <laughs> why is Victor yeah, doing yeah, no. this? Yeah. <laughs> He's just an enigma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does what he wants, goes where he wants. I will say this. I guess I didn't even say this in my overalls, but I think Liev Schreiber is great as yeah. Sabretooth in this movie. I agree 100%. He's not in this enough. Like when Logan shows up, he's like, you don't call, you don't write. And he has that like right or of he's kind of cocky but when he gets angry you believe it he's so much better than me than x1 say yeah. tooth is just like well, rah, like yeah. he has no character whatsoever i love everything his crawl and run is a little strange at times it's wire work but it's cool I, i'm into it i like his claws like i actually love him and i'm so disappointed and logan they had a scene planned for him, but they never filmed it. Uh, it was going to be the scene where they needed to hide out, and Sabretooth owns a casino, and he convinces Logan, like, please, like, let me stay here, even though they're at odds. And, like, so for one last time, he helps out his brother. And uh, okay. I think that would have been a little convoluted for mainstream people, but as a fan, I would want that. Because I actually think they got good chemistry together, too, yeah. when they're fighting or when they're... Because I, I think you guys have more problems with them being brothers. I actually do buy them being brothers. I buy the big brother mentality where he's the big brother who protects him, but he's just a hothead, and Logan's always trying to keep him calm. I think it's very rushed, but I like their chemistry, and I like him a lot as Sabretooth yeah. all, I, all throughout this movie. I don't know. I like. I, I'm, I don't have issues with like them being brothers. It's just like I was very confused that they're actually like blood brothers, like mm-hmm. actually like related by the same dad mm-hmm. or whatever. I guess if it would be it would be different mothers, but I think um, it's just not well explained. Yeah, the definitely beginning. not. So yeah, we'll we'll write that one off. But uh, I just feel like like Logan just l- like loves him as a brother so much more than like vice versa. Like I feel like Sabre just he couldn't give a fuck about Logan. Like yeah, seriously. but he saves him a few times, right? Uh, well, not save him. Like well, he does save him against Weapon at, uh, Eleven, and in then the end. and then there's that yeah. line where two times like no one kills you but me, and then okay, yeah, Logan's like, oh, after this, we're done, and he's like, we're never done, we're brothers. So okay. it's like this, like it is. Just, I feel like he he's like looking out for him all the yeah. time, even though he's like okay. done a terrible job at it. But yeah. he's 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 looking y- out for you've him. You convinced me, yeah. so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take it. I w- I wanted to ask though, how do you? Uh, I don't. I'm not really familiar with, like saber in the comics, but like. Mm-hmm how do you feel about the look compared to like x1 obviously he doesn't have a big role in it but compared to like the more of just like a regular dude look. It, it's it's uh, it's tough because i could don't think they could ever do the comics because in the comics he just is like 
so furry and he <laughs> just has a huge hide. So I, I I don't mind. I think in this movie it works better for him to look more human like yeah, than yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, than the next one cuz the next one if you have that guy walking around, he's going to stand no, out yeah. like a sore thumb. And they've <laughs> given him enough like animalistic qualities with his nails and just his, his teeth. teeth. Looks good yeah, and yeah, yeah. And just like grizzled look. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I, I like it for this movie. Yeah, I, no. I hope I hope with Faye's X Men we just see Sabretooth like, oh, fuck furry yeah. oh, as fuck I can yeah, be. Yeah. But <laughs> in this time I think it was needed to be No, I I agree with you hundred percent. Because like X one like if you just take them as like the two characters and what they look like, I totally prefer the furry dude. It's mm-hmm. just like he's so much more just like what my idea of Sabretooth would look like, right? Mm-hmm. But like in this movie I hundred percent agree with you. And especially like He'd stand on like a sore thumb in that barn. Yeah, and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not around from here, eh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, no shit. Also, just like uh, you keep mentioning this on like Kylo Ren when he wears the mask, it's just like you you get that more emotion and mm-hmm. uh, like the acting of like unless he's just covered in makeup and everything, you don't really get to see that. So I 100 percent agree with you. I agree. In this movie, I prefer the more human saber tooth as opposed to the furry. Mm-hmm. The other thing I'll add on the fight is I like the kind of the log defeat he like that truck comes by and he takes off the logs oh and fuck yeah them. that was gruesome but the most brutal thing still gets me every time i have no idea what it feel like because i don't have bone claws but when yeah. they're out and he just oh. curve stomps them off yeah oof, like <laughs> that big that, oof yeah, yeah. And hugh jackman sells that great and then after this so striker there's a very awkward scene with striker and wolverine in the hospital where Wolverine just many times he throws him up against the wall. He's like, "Why didn't you tell me it was Victor?" And then he's like, "I didn't know." And he takes throws up against another wall. What are we gonna do? But I don't know. And then like it's just like it's a whole mess of a he hits scene. Every wall in that hall. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a testosterone thrown like filled scene. But then we get into the okay. The only way you're gonna be able to take Victor, which again I feel like that's just the movie doing that. They show him get his ass kicked and then be like, "Oh, he could never beat Victor." It's like you both can't die. Like there's no like way around mm. this. But whatever. So the way in this movie is, oh, the only way you could defeat Victor is you got to get this procedure, and he can, you know, take it and everything like that because he heals. So then we get the procedure of Logan gets in there, you know, I'm the Wolverine now, and we get the actual procedure going on with the drills, lots of CGI going on. Oh, we so get so much CGI. We get Hugh Jackman looking swole as fuck though. Oh fuck yeah! He had a huge ass shot, and his ass is like more muscly than anything I have in my body. <laughs> yeah. He's taking out guys <laughs> left, right, and center. Well, I guess the reason another thing we will talk about, but so he's under, and then his, he hears Stryker say, "Oh, erase his memory." So. He gets up, he kills everybody, and then he, you know, cuts an X on the door. Great. And then he jumps out of the waterfall and escapes. What did we think? Because we talked about this when we were doing X2. What did we think about this version of the, because the X2, remember, Kyle, you forgot about that. He runs out with the blood, and he's like, ah, and he's, you know, all forgotten. Like this movie, nothing like that. I so can make assumptions about how Travis feels about this scene. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> how, how did we feel about the, uh, the uh, I guess, him turning into Weapon X and the animating and all I'd that? I'd say, like, even just the whole procedure in general, I just felt like it was so fast. And, like, he goes in the water, gets injected. It's, like, done. He's flatlined, gets out, escapes. I feel like that whole thing happens in, like, ten minutes real time. Like, it's so ridiculous. And Probably less. Yeah, I'm being very generous yeah. by saying 10 minutes, but uh, like, I don't know, like, I, I like the whole scenery of just like the tub that he goes into, like it just, especially since we've already seen that in like the past movies, so mm-hmm. obviously I'm glad they kept that part the same, but like when he escapes and he's not covered in blood, and uh, it's nothing like that it's scene. It's nothing like that scene. No. I remember you you touched upon this full memory. when we were talking about it, yeah, so, and it's just, yeah, exactly, he, <laughs> like, he knows everything that's going on, he's just... He doesn't even seem that wild. Like I know it's it like he goes on a rampage, kills everyone, like slices his way out, but like he's not a wild animal. Whereas uh obvious um uh, is it apocalypse when they see Yeah, that was the good version when they really That's the good it. version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they broke out and he and he's act he's mm. full on like psycho. Like that yeah. like that, like he's not Logan anymore, like yeah. he's Wolverine. So well, it's like and that's the, that's the other problem with this mm. entire movie that so I always saw it like I don't know how you're going to do it because if you go the way of the way X2 was setting up as far as like, okay, so he was this guy and then he got this procedure and he forgot who that guy was and he was just finding his way. I get what they wanted to do of the whole like, oh, we still want to be Wolverine. But I think the better version of this movie would have been shown be a different guy before the procedure and then turn into Wolverine and him have no memory. Or the movie start with him getting that procedure and go forward. But mm-hmm. they want their like to make their cake and eat it too because they want the procedure – 
but then they want him still to be fully functional and yeah. still be Wolverine or Jimmy and have all his memories throughout the whole movie. And then the last minute of the movie, oh, he has his memory oh, gone. I hated the way that they yeah. did that. Yeah, I just don't understand. That's why I'm super confused. It takes away from the whole procedure. Well, that's why there's no reason. That it's just them bad writing. It takes away yeah. from the whole procedure. And to me, that should have been built up to be like his like Frankenstein. Like This should be a huge thing. And it's just like... It just feels like nothing. Like even the way he just gets out of that tank and starts killing people, yeah. and he just moves on with his day, and like not like moves on his days being hunted, but it just feels like it's just like oh, just another day. He kind of looks at it, but just there's just no weight to the procedure no, when it 100%. happens. No, hundred percent. And yeah. like even like when he gets out of there, uh, kind of jumping ahead, but like when he gets to the barn, like mm-hmm. he's cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. He didn't yeah. go through this traumatic experience. He's not all scarred. He's not covered in blood, even though he just killed however many people. Obviously, like if it's PG thirteen movie, I don't know how far they can go with that, but. Mm-hmm. That's beside the point. It's just like it was so underwhelming, especially like the little glimpses that we got to see from. I don't know if it was X one or X two. It's X two when he runs out. With that. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, even X one, you saw the procedure. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like um, the one thing that I noticed that they kind of kept the same is when he's like jumping out of the water and he's just like, Ugh, yeah, just full on Wolverine in the cold shower, like we found out in the first trivia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it was so underwhelming, and I was just like bored watching like uh, this is such an important scene this is what makes wolverine wolverine yeah. and it's just like i said being very generous the whole thing he's in and out in 10 minutes no post-surgery <laughs> like no nothing no he's got all his memories and then and then i, kn- even I know adding I this striker like get rid of his memory oh. it's just like ugh. and then like super corny because then later on when he's just like oh striker and victor <laughs> working again it's like you know shit this guy is trying to like wipe yeah. your memory like it just is no you uh, to me like you should have then still had him and Stryker working together and then make that reveal. But if the guy's already trying to erase your memory, well, couldn't you kind of put two and two together? That, oh, yeah. gee, maybe he is working with oh, Saber too. Yeah, but, you it's know. yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna quickly jump ahead just to link the two, but it's like how they didn't wipe his memory like at the procedure and how they ended up actually wiping his memory. Oof. I hated that so much. Like, oh, yeah. That could be probably one of my biggest irks in this entire <laughs> movie. It's just like, <laughs> oh, just yeah. shoot some. Yeah, we'll get to it. But. Adamantium bullets. Kyle, you have anything to add on this uh, procedure? Business? No. I got fired up. I'm sorry. I went on. Well, no, I <laughs> I think like as we're just talking about now, this, I guess the whole memory thing is what's like really screwing up this like timeline of what's happening. Yeah. So. It's not really much more to like beat up on this. It's just like when you watch this movie, okay, you're, you're not supposed to remember anything, but you remember everything. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you like you get shot twice in the head, <laughs> and now you absolutely don't remember anything. You've like now for sure restarted, and you don't know who's who. But you're still pretty much the same guy you were. You're yeah. pretty much the same, same guy, guy, but for some reason, you just don't just remember. No, <laughs> no personality change, no nothing. No but nothing. You know. <laughs> just. Oh, man. It, w- it would make more sense if, like. He, he, but. <sighs> If he, like, actually forgot the first time of, like, what was happening. Like, after the procedure? After the procedure. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, even when the girl came in and, like, uh, when it's like, oh, it was a twist. And it'd be like, I don't know who that is. And it's like, that's a twist within a twist. Have like. you? <laughs> 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 Twistception. It would not be this exact same movie, but have you guys ever seen Memento? Yeah. Uh, I haven't yet to see it. Great movie. You should. It's Christopher Nolan movie. It's on my really it's on my list on Netflix. That's what the Wolverine movie should have been. It's him yeah. trying to figure out his memory. Yeah. You do the, you know. Have the movie start with the like if the movie starts with the experiment because the thing is too when you think about X two and even X one and X three too no I guess I don't really talk about his memory in X three but the first two it's so much about like Logan who was I blah 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 Mm -hmm. the answer is so boring when you think about like oh what happened before that procedure and even then they try to hint that maybe he was a bad guy before that procedure. But no, he was just tricked, and like yeah. it's same old, same old. Like you didn't do anything. You were on a task force, yes, but you were the good guy who left after the first yeah, mission. Exactly. Like you did all these wars. Like the answer to whenever you watch those movies now, to like, oh, what was I before the procedure? Mm-hmm. Nothing exciting. Like nothing I ever want to experience again. Also, yeah. we did for the retro, and I still <laughs> watch this time to time for shits and giggles when I'm like, <laughs> I gotta watch them all. But mm-hmm. it's just it's just so boring, and it's just because they just didn't want to. I think they just didn't. It wasn't a sexy blockbuster to cover uh, to do a oh this guy has memory loss mm-hmm. and he's trying to figure it all out. I think they just want the action. They want helicopter chases. Oh, but well, we can't do that if he doesn't have a memory. You can still find a way to add those scenes in there. You just have to like recontextualize them. But they just wanted the They're like just being lazy, I feel oh that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. You know, it's just they felt like they couldn't crack the code and you know, you know. But hey, the guy's writing Game of Thrones now, so maybe he can crack Shouts different chords. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so after that, he escapes. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, um, so yeah, we get to the barn. 
He meets the people. <laughs> the nice, you know, family. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, man. Oh, I, you fit my uh, son's clothes. <laughs> How do you know that right off the hop? Yeah. Where's your son at? Why do you still uh, have your son's clothes? <laughs> Did he die? I, I thought they. I thought it was like supposed oh. to be insinuated he died in a war or something. I thought, don't they drop a line like that or am I wrong? I, I, d- I don't remember I anything don't remember like that. that. Okay. You could be right. You could be right, but I don't remember them saying, oh, like, this is my... Yeah. Oh, recently uh, deceased recently son. Recently yeah. deceased son. Then, like, but, like, <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> low-key, oh, like... Oh. So bad. And, like, all, so, like, he has dinner with them, and, like, we'll just disregard all that shit. But, like, when the, at the end he brings him his leather jacket, he's like, put that on. That was my son. And then, like, the mom comes in. It's like, it fits you really well. Uh, I, bought you, I bought you breakfast. <laughs> 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 what? Why are you bringing a bread oh, in the barn? In yeah. the barn. <laughs> no, you but should. then you just have like dinner and then. Like, oh, I was asleep. But like, you, you should be Fuck. like, you would think the guy just be like, hey, she's prepared you breakfast. But for her to bring, they're like, they're just waiting on this fucking guy who just broke into their barn. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, it was so wow, bad. This guy just really reminds me of my own son. <laughs> And I'm just gonna go off and like he's like, give him you just take my son's bike, bike for a rip, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I used to drive that. Oh, <laughs> I, I think you're too young for that bike, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I do like when he sits on the bike and he's like, oh, you put on a little weight. He's yeah. like, yeah, more than a little or something like that. That was a good line. It's um, like you're heavy. I put on a little weight recently. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly. So the part that I hate and everyone's talked about this. So it's in the bathroom. When he breaks the <laughs> fucking sink, but his he it down. <laughs> claws are the worst they've ever been in any of the movies we've oh, watched so far. For the CG yeah, in this, oh, in this movie, they just look like like CG things planted on his face. <laughs> they the look other like 2002. CG. Oh yeah, oh, like yeah. the X one, like X one, X two, X three. At times you can see it, but there's it wasn't that bad. No, no, like no. for you. Part you could you could catch it if you're really lucky, but most time they blend it in. These are not composite well. They just look like mm. when bad Photoshop, you could tell something's in place on top of something. That's what his claws <laughs> and are. I'll bring it up again, but like Iron Man came out the year before that, and oh like yeah. Iron Man was like all CGI. Yeah. So like you go to this and Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I think earlier, I think no later on when uh, Wolverine's breaking into the places, he uses his claws to like go through the door and then like cut through, but like. The claws on the CGI are like <laughs> completely different <laughs> of like what they usually are. Like all of a sudden, like they're super thin and like they're <laughs> knife, and he just breaks. And then later on, they're like they really morph. thick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh. I just had to mention CGI. Uh, whatever. But um, yeah. yeah. So this poor family oh. bites the dust. Agents here just kills the fuck out of them. He yeah. snipers them, and they blow up the barn wow. for uh, insult to in- uh, insult to injury. And then we got a chase scene, and we got him taking out Agent Zero. Striker just keeps being like, "Come back to base." It's just like, why? Like, it's no. just th- like that's why it's just this whole movie feels lazy. Of like, why would he come back to base? Not only did you try to wipe his memory, you just said Agent Zero who killed these innocent people. Yeah. Why? Why would he believe you at all? And that's where it's so frustrating when you think about. We talk about Striker in X two. He's always plotting. He's always like worming his way in things, but it's done smartly, and he seems like an intelligent guy. This guy is so fucking stupid. Oh, this version so of Striker. He is no. He's just like reacting to things all the time. Like I know I'm jumping ahead, but when he kills that general, what the fuck? Oh my it's god! It's so <laughs> stupid. Like the whole scene, it's just very poorly acted too. But just like I would co- protect my country from anything foreign or domestic, and he takes his blade and he stabs him. And there's just apparently a dead general on the ground that no one else is ever gonna him. be like. Hey, what's yeah. the deal here? Like, this striker is just so awful compared to what X2 was, you know? And I guess, like, even at this, like, you think, like, like I guess the Wolverine character would be s- smart enough for, like, I guess, I don't know, his memory loss. But even at that, like, to kind of start putting all these things together, like, this, like, he doesn't really have memory loss the first time. He has no memory loss. He's no memory loss. But yet... Like Stryker's still wanting to go out to him, and he's like still, like not wanting to work with Stryker. Is that what it is? What do you mean? W- why is like Stryker keep going back to him, like trying to get him to come and be? Oh, it's all good. Like before the experiment and everything. No, like after that? the exp- after the experiment. Because I I don't know. Because Stryker yeah. just keeps saying, "Come back to base. We can get we can get Victor together." But it's like, why why would he work with you? Yeah. And he's supposed to be like unleashing the beast, even though he's very tamed. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. definitely not a wild animal. Did I answer your oh. question, Kyle? Oh, sorry. This is firefighting. <laughs> this is a chimney fire. Did I answer your question? Or? Yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> I don't know if I did, but uh, do you have anything to add on uh, Agent Zero, the helicopter chase, his death, uh, death by claws in gravel? I got to say, <laughs> he liked turning with his claws on that bike. I don't understand how that would have changed anything on the way that you would normally <laughs> turn on a bike, but he it like used cool, his claws right? to like, drag, does a turn. Oh, yeah, it was just little things like that that I was just like, fuck, man, this fuck this movie. But, uh, yeah, nothing more to add on that. Agent Zero, anything to add on his death? No. Okay. Screw them. <laughs> yeah. this, this movie was just like a bland of one. <laughs> <laughs> one Like, for me, like, this whole movie is just really confusing to watch and follow. For the first time, like. Sounds like you had a I <laughs> tough experience. I had a tough experience watching this movie. I didn't know what was <laughs> going on. I was very confused, and like a lot of these like storylines or like plots that they have, <laughs> it just didn't make any sense to me of what they were trying to do, at all. So Logan track. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, I just just don't like this movie at uh, all. Uh, Logan <laughs> tracks down Will I Am to get some background information. He just says, "Oh yeah, Sabretooth was losing his mind. I left the Task Force X because they are cutting down mutants and mutants, and they got a." <laughs> and only one, uh, and only one person has escaped the island, and that's this guy named Remy Lebeau. Uh, Le- Le- Remy Lebeau, not Lebeau. Uh, that's the porn parody version. But no one knows <laughs> where <laughs> Le no one knows where he is, or they just say it's a guy. No one knows where he is except for Fred. So they go see Fred in some terrible oh, boxing well. ring. Ooh, to <laughs> fight him. <'em. laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this movie's awful. <laughs> Why did uh, I watch this? Because it's uh, part of the... I don't know why Fred just won't give him the information. No. It just <laughs> Fred seemed like an alright guy. But <laughs> you call me Blub. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fight now. <laughs> why? First of all, it was Bob, not Bud. Yeah. Oh, Bob. Because Wolverine says Bob, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah Bud, Bud. And then, yeah, Blob. Did you call me Blob? Yeah, and then they fight, and Logan cheats because he puts well, his claws don't, in wait, the Don't box. say anything. He's put on a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit, yeah. has. <laughs> Sorry, it spiked the mic. But, like, this is... Oh, I can't believe this whole sequence. Hey, like Fred, I remember that girl when she was a lot skinny. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was the best line. <laughs> <But though. laughs> That's what I mean, because when you're telling me about how awful this was, and I said Hugh Jackman can at least say it for me, this is an awful movie, but I guess that's the only reason why I can still watch it is because even he's given some bad stuff, Hugh Jackman is still good in this movie. When he's delivering those comedic lines, I'm like, he still feels like Wolverine, and he's good. So that's why I can still watch this movie, because at least it's like, it's another Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. It's just everything else. But yeah, talk about this whole blob. And then he beats Blob and gives him the name of Blob, mm. uh, Will I Am, all this, you know. I I don't know much more to say other you than don't, you uh, don't have to. Like I'm the little like the one liner that you mentioned, it was great. Mm. Uh I actually like I thought it was hilarious when he's like, You what did you just call it? you call me Blob? And I I don't know. I was like, <laughs> What the fuck? But uh yeah, his uh Shay hated this scene. She oh, was, she I was, would believe she it. She was watching this with me, or she was <laughs> studying, and she's like, I can see the CGI and the pillow in him, and it was just, like, so brutal. Oh, it was it was not good. Oh, this is awful. Like, this scene has he no... Had his, he had his big gulp. This has no reason <laughs> to be here at all. No. Like, <laughs> uh, they, there's it didn't make any sense. zero reason except for we need to have Wolverine fight a little bit more because he hasn't been doing much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Originally, the scene yeah. took place at a grocery store. No. No. Yeah. yeah. It's in the end of the games the same way. I will say the I feel game. Like actually, that would have been better. The game for this movie is fucking amazing. It is one of yeah. the best superhero games of all time with Wolverine. Play it. It's really, really good. Xbox 360, it's damn good. 24 hour stream, bring it. I should. It's it's a great game. There's times where you can get like bombs will explode and you'll be just a pure like metal skeleton fighting and he'll be healing while you're doing that. Oh, that's it's, sick. It's great. Do you get to be Blob? No, you just fight, fight him. him. You oh, fight okay. him though. In the grocery store. Because <laughs> okay. it was written that way and they made the game and then they changed it on him. So they get Bastards. the name. It's Remy Lebeau. Oh, fuck. Remy Lebeau <laughs> slash Gamut. They head to Narlins to f- track down this guy because they need to find out where this island is because he wants to, I don't know, find Strike. I don't really know. He wants to find Striker. He wants to find Sayer too. I don't know why he needs to get this island, though, because I feel like he could just trick Striker and be like, yeah, I'll come back there and kill him. Whatever. Um, we get a lot of stuff we'll here. <laughs> we get yeah, oh, we get a lot of stuff here. We get the card scene with uh, Gambit and them playing poker together. We get uh, Sabretooth killing <laughs> Will I Am by breaking a spine. And then we get a big triple threat fight scene with Sabretooth, Wolverine, and Gambit. 
One, what do you guys think about all these scenes? And two, what do you guys think about Gambit? Go ahead. Um, <laughs> well, like the fight scenes in general, um, I did not realize like Sabretooth was even there. <laughs> it's hilarious because Logan's there to find out where Victor is. Meanwhile, Victor's outside. I don't know that though. I guess he is. No, he, he is. is. Yeah, he goes yeah, and talks. He is. I guess. That's yeah. why I'm confused. Like he's <laughs> well, he's supposed to go to the cause island because he thinks that's where they would be. But it's just like apparently Logan just has to stay put, and everyone will come to him. Well, I sw- I swear though, he asked Gambit like, "Have you seen Victor or yeah, whatever?" Yeah, and then and then <laughs> he came with Will I Am. Will I Am clearly knows that he's there. He just like goes outside and goes fights. Yeah, Victor. he just like, hey, Logan, I found them. Yeah, no, he's like, I'll take them on. <laughs> and then he's like all like cocky and everything. Oh, I know. Oh. oh, he's like, one thing I've always known about you, you're so predictable. And he just like grabs them. <laughs> Pretty vicious death scene. Just like you actually remember spine. a lot of these lines verbatim, Kirkland. <laughs> I watched this last night at like 1130. So. <laughs> it's singed <in> your <laughs> yeah. dreams. Yeah, exactly. Well, I am. Um, Gambit. Uh, I didn't mind the actor that was playing him. Uh, I actually kind of liked him. I liked his look. I, I don't. I'm not very familiar with Gambit, so I don't know what he shouldn't look like. But I don't know. I liked the length of his hair, and I liked his little like cocky uh, demeanor. It was just like I don't know. I, I really don't know much about Gambit, but I liked yeah. him. I liked the little animation when he like lifted all the cards and like threw them at Logan. Love the cards. Is yeah. he supposed to be like a card? Like that's what he does. He, he right? can put kinetic energy into anything, so oh, that's, that's why cool. staff his cards. So those are oh, his main okay. weapons. Yeah, I oh. thought it was only cards. No, I didn't really understand the staff, so that makes sense. They don't. Exp- no, they don't explain. Yeah, it. no, fuck no. That's really. <laughs> cool. That's a really cool power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm jealous. Yeah. I wish I had that. He's pretty sick. He's a great character. I love Gambit. He's top five favorite X Men. Uh, I think. Taylor Kitsch does an all right job. I think. Uh, Is that the actor? Yeah, yeah, I think you need someone a bit older for Gambit. Uh, I'm a big fan of the '90s animated series. That's where I get Gambit from. I think I need more of like a like a man almost. Like I don't know which way to describe it. And even then, I think it's all right. But when they were gonna make the movie with Channing Tatum, I still have not ever heard of someone saying like a Gambit choice. I'm like that's perfect. It's just like I need like a. I haven't. I don't think we've hit a perfect gambit, and all this stuff is just like, like, like a wiser. I'm sure Feige can find the perfect. No, gambit. I think they need to be older and more smooth. I think Taylor Kitsch is all right, but I I need to believe that this guy can talk a woman into bed. I don't think K- Taylor Kitsch can do that. I think his looks can do He's that. Got He's got the a, pretty boy look. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I, to me, Gambit is more the ruggedly handsome. I don't think John Hamm would be a good Gambit, but that type of look where it's just like that manly handsome, you know, like yeah. that, you know, kind of. 60s 70s yeah. like business like, he, but, like find george clooney. Clooney. For sure. yeah but definitely not george, george clooney, clooney acting wise right yeah. so <laughs> I, I i just i need this actor that doesn't exist yet so all honestly a young brad pitt would have sufficed like fight club era that would have been like the way he's cocking okay, yeah. that movie he would not so much of like the being like swearing and being all gross and like i'm tyler durden but like just that look his machismo that's what i kind of picture with gambit and even channing tatum i don't really see that in him so and this all this stuff is a a mess the fight seems a mess kirkland i'm surprised he didn't bring it up but the guardrail where him and gambit are fighting and it's falling i forgot i'm so and he's just cutting down the ladder yeah Yeah. and it's just terrible cgi he literally cuts down the entire yeah it's just i don't know where the parts go they just vanish but he just oh they set gambit up terribly because they go to the parking lot saber there and then gambit's like i'm not going back to the island for too long and then wolverine just punches him behind him to knock him out Way to way just a shit on this new character you introduced. You made the above a joke. Uh, and I don't care about Will I am. I was happy he died. So, uh, yeah, this is yeah. is not good. Not good. Another s- action scene for the sake <laughs> of action. I got to say, though, that fire escape scene, I've never laughed so hard, like, <laughs> in the X-Men movies, I think. Like, that was the funniest thing I've ever... Because it's like... I don't know. It reminded me of... I know this is kind of out of date for when this is going to be released, but the WrestleMania, when there's that, I think it was Sheamus, he was just beating on one guy, and then it went to another guy, and he just kept doing it. He did it like four times, and you're like, okay, it's funny, and then you don't expect it to keep going, and it just makes you laugh, and this is exactly what happened with that fire escape, because I'm like, how much left is there? And he's just like... Huge fire escape. He literally is just mowing down this thing, and, and the I, CG's just, awful. I just burst, you know, laughing. <laughs> Shay, Shay's trying to study. She like <laughs> looks over. She starts laughing. Like it's just so ridiculous. That's why it's like I kind of enjoyed scenes of this movie, and that was definitely the one that I was like, "Holy shit!" I was not expecting this. Yeah, I guess my question <laughs> is, why would Gambit try to stop this? Oh, you. I ha- guess he was worried Logan would bring him back to the island. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, 
Okay, so it's Logan for interpretation. This, 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 <laughs> I guess this is very open because I guess like Logan has now found Victor, like Rip Will I Am, and now this is like this is only what he was. And we never for. get a scene of Logan like mourning. Will I? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He completely oh, no. disregards. We never good. get it mentioned at no, all. No, no, no. That's yeah. actually a good point. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. he's. Like, he finds Victor. Like, this is the only person you've been looking for this whole time. Like. Well, he's going to kill him and then kill Striker. Okay. So, yeah. he, I, I guess he still needs to know where that island, right? So, he can get to Striker. I guess so. Yeah. But isn't Striker trying to elude him back? So. <laughs> oh, yeah. He could just jump on the plane. And even then, mm. like, the way when he's just like, I know who you are, Gambit. He could just be like, hey, I want to kill these people. Do you want to help me out? Yeah. But he just does not tell him that till after this big fight and everything. It's. Oh, it's, I know. Yeah. It, it's quite ridiculous. Yeah. He could. He, he there's so much that could have just been avoided. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you like, uh, how'd you feel with Gambit? Uh, he was all right. Mm. Like, I think that p- the powers, that stuff that he was d- he was doing is cool. But at the same time, like, I think you're right. Like, the whole, like, yeah, Wolverine kind of just shits on him at the end. It's just like, well, what was the point of? Yeah, lo- well, mm-hmm. Wolverine, like, beats him twice. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, this guy's weak as fuck, and <laughs> he's just going to do whatever Wolverine <laughs> tells him. <laughs> but it was pretty funny when they were, like, going to the island on the plane, and... The guy's like, oh, do you not like planes? He's like, shut up. And like, he's just <laughs> hanging on for dear life. Yeah. Which is very strange because it's much like Obi-Wan in Star Wars. In the X-Men movies, they never once talk about Logan being afraid of flying. Yeah. But he is in this movie. The same way Obi-Wan in the prequels is well, afraid kinda, of flying. But they kind of mention it in like all of like these movies, at least, though. In, no, just in Origins, though. X-Men well, 1, 2, in the 3. Other ones, I feel like he's... Uh, uh, he makes some sort of comment about yeah. like the flight. Uh, but I don't think he's ever scared of flying. No, he's never scared, but he's yeah. uncomfortable. He's, he's <laughs> you <laughs> can tell he's uncomfortable. I'm not gonna sure. agree with you two on this one, okay. but I think uh, it's X two. I, I think it was an X two. Like someone yeah. does like a spin and he's all like woozy well, or whatever. Let's not do that again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that could just. I think that's the quote. <laughs> I think that could just be happening when like those missiles are going on, right? Yeah, when the tornadoes. Yeah, so that could be like, don't get hit by a missile. Oh, you know? I don't know. No, think you're reaching. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we're reaching too. I I quickly want to like, how mm-hmm. strong is Gambit in like the X Men series? Yeah, he's pretty strong. I don't. I think him and Logan would be. What pretty class would you consider? <laughs> 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 oh, um, oh, that's so good. Oh, uh, so class I'm four. Ch- I'm trying to. Th- <laughs> I think he would be. <laughs> better than Pyro. Okay. So if if he's higher than a class three or class four, he's where Pyro is. I okay. don't think he's as strong as Magneto. Th- it's tough with Wolverine where to like class him because I don't think he is the strongest mutant. He's just durable as fuck. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. like there's so many like Xavier could beat Wolverine so easily. Yeah. Magneto could so easily. Like the Phoenix, I guess, couldn't beat Wolverine, but like if you take out Jean, she could just like keep him away, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's ju- he's not that great. It's just that. You just can't kill the fucker. So it's like he's going to win just by, like, mm. the longevity. Like, yeah. he's going to keep coming back. So I feel like uh, th- I feel like Wolverine could beat him in a fight, but I feel like they should have made it a bit more balanced. But yeah, Gambit, I think, is pretty strong, though. If he can, like, look at the end when he just breaks that entire rubble wall, yeah. you know? Like, mm-hmm. if you can turn anything into kinetic energy and throw it at stuff, I think you're pretty powerful. So, mm. And I would say for any Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 fans out there, Great character to play as you can just spam throwing his cards all the time. I still haven't played that one. Love it. I hope he's returning in three. Doubt it. Uh, let's see. And then after this, we get a weird, weird scene. So, uh, well, okay. I I forgot to mention this earlier when Will I Am and the Blob are talking about what Sabretooth and Victor have been doing, blah, blah, blah. So I'm bringing it up now. We oh. get a scene where Sabretooth is hunting down Scott at, uh, at his school. Scott's having headaches for some reason. I oh. don't understand this. Sabretooth hunts him down the middle school and they kidnap Scott. Um, I don't understand because I think they're trying to say when he's like, I got a headache. Like they're trying to say he's getting his powers at that moment. Because if not, I don't know where he got the glasses to stop his eyes. And if not, I just feel like it's so convenient that his powers are just starting up as Sabretooth is showing up. I and even it. then, yeah. it doesn't even matter because if his powers were just showing up, they wouldn't know he had mutant powers. That whole scenario is not good. I hated good. that whole scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, just the whole introduction of, like, Scott. Like, th- I feel like the only reason they did that is so that they could give, like, Weapon X11, whatever the hell his name is, Deadpool, I'll call him. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like the only reason why they did that is so they could have laser beam eyes. It was so... Yeah. You're yeah. not wrong. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't make any sense it. because... Okay, <laughs> wouldn't Scott then know that he's met Wolverine before? 
He never saw him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not wrong, right? Because they at the end when he's back at Weapon X, he has that thing over his eyes. I guess so. But when did you hear? I guess you wouldn't hear any of this. What's going on? It was very quick, though, right? He had what? Talked to the guy for like thirty seconds out of his life so far. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's why they did, they distinctly did that. Be like, oh, we're gonna keep it all together. Like the mm. continuity. Like, oh, they have met, but they haven't really met. Continuity. Oh, well, it gets worse in first class. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm excited. Because Emma Frost, too, is a so many things. For some reason, Patrick Stewart. Sh- we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> um, so we anything to add on? Anything else for Scott and being adopted? No, no. he's going to be entered here. That was another bad like CGI uh, Victor Chase in yeah. the mm-hmm. hallway. And then we got Wolverine Gambit. They're heading to the island. Wolverine jumps. Uh, it's just him finding out. And then there's stuff we talked about already with Kayla. They reveal, like, the big twist, the mm. big twist about, you know, <laughs> the whole this was a plan, blah, blah, blah. And same thing. They got him here on the island. And once they tell him about Kayla, I'm like, we want to put this adamantine in you. Wolverine starts to walk away. And he comes back when Sabretooth is like, oh, I want the adamantine. He's like, oh, you, weren't, you won't be strong enough. And Kayla's like, oh, he's just using us against each other. And she runs at Stryker. And then Sabretooth starts to sh- uh, strangle her. And Wolverine runs back because he's going to save her, even though he thinks this woman just played him. Yeah. So anyways, good guy Wolverine. He, stu- he still loves her. Yeah. He's supposed to forget her, but yeah. no, has no memory of her. Well, he does. He does have memory of her. I Memories know. at in this hearts. point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but oh, it's back all of a sudden. <laughs> to me, it made... No, it still, he still, he has, still has He never lost the memory. He only loses memory when he gets shot. Yeah. I thought he lost. He was supposed to lose his memory when he was in the tank. He was supposed to. Well, yeah, at X2, that's what they said, but not in this movie. They wrecked on that. said, no, that didn't happen. Oh. He's had his entire memory the, that time. That's oh. so funny. Now I knew because you you mentioned that a few <laughs> yeah, times. Where you like he remembers for some reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew something was going on over there. <laughs> oh <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, no, that's I thought because I th- I knew the whole time. Like, I thought during this podcast that you told me that this he forgot his memory in the tank. I think it no, was when I was going on my should. rant and I was like, I don't know why they didn't do it then. Because even Stryker oh. says erase his memory, but that's what wakes Logan up to get out of there because he doesn't want his memory erased. Those are the key words I missed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Agent, Agent, I'm so sorry Agent for Zero these goes, I think he heard you. I am yeah. so sorry for the listeners. No, um, <laughs> it's a confusing movie. But my, my confusing point too, so when he showed back to the island and then Logan left initially, why did they just leave? Like, Logan was walking out, leaving until Kayla got attacked. Why did they just let him go? Their whole plan was like, we got to get him back here. Oh, I know. And he's just like, when he's like, oh, I'm, I'm the fool. Like, he did his whole charade story again. And then he walked. They didn't even care. Like, he came back to save Kayla. But it's like, what was the point of all this? Like, no, why did it, they just 100%. Te- like, yeah. they just tell him and he leaves. And it's like, like, fuck, like... L- if you think of like the perspective of Logan, like he would be so pissed at Stryker <laughs> for like tricking him to do that, and like he basically tortured him in that tank and made him all like sure he's stronger now, but like fuck, he still had to go through that, mm. and he has all of his memory, like he knows exactly what happens. Get the fuck out so of there! Yeah, or go like live your life, or even <laughs> just like like fucking kill Stryker right there. He like oh, walks in, and Stryker's yeah. so confident. He's like, "Hello, Logan. <laughs> yeah. I've been expecting you." Yeah, yeah but that remember the general in X, was it X one when Stryker comes in and Logan. X two, yeah, and Stryker comes in and he like he all of a sudden he just forgets like, like he w- he's <laughs> Wait, like, like where are you <laughs> on this memory? <laughs> <laughs> no, not forgets, but like he just looks at Stryker and he's like, Stryker just starts talking to him and like he, Logan just stands there like he's dumb ass and like won't do anything <laughs> because of well Stry- that was different though right because at that point, at that point he didn't, didn't remember yeah, yeah he didn't remember anything and yeah. he but, like, stri- it just shows like Wolverine's weakness of just like people just like <laughs> who changed his life and he can't do anything and he just stares and like looks at them like <laughs> well yeah he's not a bright guy in this no. movie so no at this point mm-hmm. Kayla's getting attacked he comes back him and Sabretooth has like a mini fight but he just Completely kicks Sabretooth's ass this time. Sabretooth. It, it's less than like 30 <laughs> seconds. Like yeah. all these like intense fights <laughs> are just over. Yeah. And then Kayla's like, oh, my, my sister, she needs help. And then they bust out all these mutants, get her sister. That scene was so funny when he's cutting the locks and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> showing up. I want a shot to show off my muscles, okay, guys? Yeah. And then that happens and they're trying to make their way out. And lo and behold, there's a door that opens. And I forgot to mention, too, when he kills the general, we also see uh, Stryker's son frozen. Yeah. Did you guys catch that? Mm. I did. Yeah. Okay. And I like in that same scene, the general's like, we know about your son. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he's frozen. He's right there. I see him. <laughs> 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 like, oh, frozen. <laughs> he's he's right. Even then, though, the general brings up. He's like, we know your son killed your wife. But to me, even if that's not a scene, be like, if this guy has his own son frozen, it's like we're not trusting this guy. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a mess. It's just Easter eggs for the sake of them. Yeah. But then anyway, 100%. so these doors open up. And uh, because before they're like, oh, Weapon 11, it's not ready to go. And uh, whatever, uh, Striker's like, oh, the bonding process, who cares? Just send him out there. Clearly trying to set up that he'll be Deadpool in the future. But so the doors open up and, oh, it's Wade Wilson. And he's Weapon 11 and he's Barakapool. And here he is. Barakapool? I'm sorry, you said this already. What is it? Uh, so, you know, Bar- there's a character named Baraka from Mortal Kombat. He's yes, just like, okay. A, yeah, sorry. yeah, he has the two sorry. swords. You mentioned oh. this before and I. Totally forgot. The reason I said this is because, so, there's a few things. This movie, I guess I should say, so there was some previews and whatnot when they were showing this, and there was Wade Wilson, and then there was, like, in the cast, it was uh, IMDb, funny enough, it was Wade Wilson, and then played by Ryan Reynolds, and there was this guy named Scott Atkins, who should not play Batman, people are completely wrong on that. Um, (laughs) He's not a good actor, and people are like, he should be Batman, because he has dark hair and he's buff. No. So... And he was just billed as Weapon 11. As these trailers kept going around, you would see Weapon 11, and he looked a lot like Deadpool. And the whole internet, including myself, who was on the IMD boards back in the day, was just so worried that, oh, man, they better not make Deadpool a Weapon 11. And as this going on, people were, like, really worried. And then the movie leaked. It was, I think, a month and a half before it was supposed to come out. The movie leaked online with effects not done, everything like oh, that. Oh, no. But then it was, like, a confirm, confirm that because people had watched it and seen it that that is Deadpool and I just remember the fanboy community as that movie was coming up and we realized that was Weapon like Weapon Eleven and Deadpool were the same person. Yeah. It was just a gunshot to the heart. And this like it's one thing that's been talked about for ages. So I can't have any other descripting words to do it any justice that's been made fun of the past ten years. But it's just a I don't know what the hell they were thinking. And it's just so bad. Even to the point where Scott Atkins, who plays Weapon 11, along with Dead uh, Ryan Reynolds, you can tell because there's shots where it's Ryan Reynolds and he's like fit, but then they'll go to him and he's like jacked. And there's just scenes where they'll like literally be like, he's turning as Scott Atkins. And then when they cut, they turn and it's Ryan Reynolds. And like the body's completely changing. This whole thing was bad. The only positive thing I have to say on it that I said to Kirkland as we watched it is, I really enjoy the Sabretooth and Wolverine versus Deadpool portion when they're on there on the plank and they're back yeah. to back. And that part where Deadpool is teleporting back and forth, kicking their ass, yeah. that's so fucking good. And that's one of my favorite like comic book fight scenes. But other than that, it's just a mess. Ryan Reynolds looks like shit. The like the whole idea is bad and sorry, why are they using two people? Uh, one was a stun double, but also the other one was Ryan Reynolds was not available to do all the shooting. So they just got some face shots for Ryan Reynolds and all the action was Scott Atkins. Wow. Scott Atkins got the shit into the stick on that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you guys there. think about uh, this whole Weapon 11 business and then ends with him getting his head cut off? This whole ending mm-hmm. battle here. We can just talk about the well, whole end I, here. Well, I guess he's uh, a merc without a mouth, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that very, was my Very nice, Kyle. Point. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, like, before I saw, like, the Deadpool movies, I wasn't too familiar with that character, mm-hmm. so... Like, when this actually came out, I swear I didn't see the movie, but I definitely remember seeing, like, this scene or whatever, like, when the door opens and it's Deadpool. Well, they also remember they did spoof in Deadpool 2. Yeah, no. Yeah, when he kills them. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, before I saw Deadpool, I didn't really know who that character was. You had knowledge of it. Yeah, like, I I knew what he looked like. I didn't know that he was, like, humorous or whatever. I thought he just looked pretty cool. He had swords. But, um, so, like, when when I saw, like, this version of, Baraka Pool, we'll call him. Mm-hmm. It was, I was like, I don't know what that is. It's kind of like, uh, like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's just like a random new villain or whatever that they introduced. So I wasn't too, like, uh, invested in that character. So I wasn't triggered really because I wasn't, I didn't have anything to expect. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't even remember <laughs> really watching this movie back in the day, but I remember seeing that character and not being like, oh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to comic books because, like, the fans wanted that Deadpool. And they were like, I definitely wasn't in that camp just because I didn't have the knowledge of it yeah but like looking back on it it's like man if i knew what i knew now <laughs> and i saw that shit i 100 percent would be like fucking i'd be yeah and i feel like it's Triggered. an insult <laughs> when he does like the cyclops eyes and they give him like the black diamonds it's like you that's not gonna that. make up <laughs> you for what that, you've yeah. done to him you know like yeah. give him this little easter egg of like oh we know it's deadpool 
I don't think you do like no. just what they did to him. Yeah, so. no, and like the way that they like s- just singed his mouth closed, that he like, yep. I don't know, they gave him that line where he's like, I guess Striker was able to finally or finally able to shut you up or whatever. I think the idea is they just should have made Deadpool the idea of like Weapon Eleven as a mutant that has all these powers. I think could have been a fun idea, but I think the second they made it Deadpool, it was like, oof. Yeah. I can't get behind this because especially back then it was just like when I was thinking, oh, we got that. And then he started this. It's like, I feel like if we get some Deadpool movie, this is not this is not the Deadpool I want. Like no, this, for this, sure. This look. And, and I totally that. understand. Like if you're one of those fans <laughs> when this comes out, you're like, we're finally getting Deadpool in this movie. But like so hyped. And then that shit rolls around. It's just yeah. like I understand the outrage for sure. And I love that. Uh, obviously they brought it back in the Deadpool 2 cameo when uh, he's going back in time and everything and fixing everything. Does like the Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. That was great. But uh, yeah. Uh, for myself, um, this whole like sequence is just like, I guess the fight scene between uh, what Travis was saying earlier. Yeah, the, the, with th- the three th- fight. With the th- or the, th- the threesome. <laughs> the three. I was gonna say that, but <laughs> I'm not. Two v one. Two v one. Two yeah. two v one. I thought it Is was. Is it really a two v one? I feel like it's a free for all. No, saber tooth and Wolverine team up. They go back to back. Remember? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was kind pretty of. cool. I, I don't know how. D- how do they get to the top of the nuclear plant? Uh, Wolverine he sees Victor c- climbing up. I think. Oh no, no it's Wol- opposite. It's Wolverine's idea to climb up there, and then Deadpool can teleport, so he teleports up there, and then saber tooth just ends up getting up there. So why would Wolverine want to climb up there? The high ground. He's just trying to run. He's just <laughs> yeah, he has no <laughs> ideas. He's just trying to get th- him away from those kids. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. He doesn't want those kids getting killed before they can get picked up before uh, from cr- uh, creepy Xavier. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Well, he's he's <laughs> like it's the same thing. He's like look at, like you don't think he's looking creepy when he picks him up. He's just like stoic and he's just like all plastic yeah. again and just like speaking without Scott, moving his lips. Yeah. Why don't oh you God. talk to them all? <laughs> <you ask>? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. He's the he's what? the main <laughs> character, but like they're just all standing there like like this old guy just standing there staring at them all. Scott's still on those. And so imagine being just one of those kids <laughs> yeah. and you're like. Fuck this! What? I'm, what? I'm <laughs> going with Gambit. What's going on with this guy? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Scott's just being spoken to. The one blind guy, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so funny you said that because I did not even think about that. Yeah. It's like, why isn't he even speaking? <laughs> <to anyone? laughs> yeah, I have nothing more to add on that scene other than it's just creepy. It's just very Fuck. Michael Jackson Neverland yeah. Ranch vibes. So that Fuck. is very creepy. Yeah. Oh. No, I just. Other than that fight scene, it was all like very like yeah. bland and dumb. And I, f- I forgot to mention, I did enjoy the fight scene as well. So. Yeah, and then even when the building crumbles, and then he finds was Kayla. Kayla, and it's just like oh, like this could get any worse. Like, <laughs> well, it does though. But then that's I when he gets know. shot by the animant. That was bullet. such a bigger <laughs> question mark though. It's like how the fuck did she even get there? Like she yeah. got yeah. shot and she's just like laying. Yeah. Yeah. Logan, Logan. Yeah. W- I was like, get oh the my fuck out of here. <laughs> There's <laughs> buildings collapsing all around, and it's you. like, of course, you would have to appear right at the end <laughs> of this all. Like, this is why does this have to be so cliche? Like, yeah. and then just kept getting even more cliche, and that's why I got really angry at the <laughs> end of this movie. And it's like, this is dumb. Like, I can't believe I just watched this. Like, and then yeah, we got yeah. strike with adamantine bullets. He shoots him a bunch. Wolverine, yeah. who again proves he's very dumb in this movie, decides he is a brick shit house. Like, he's so powerful. But he decides for some reason he needs to run up a fucking wall and jump off it to attack Striker. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of just, I don't know, well, fully running at him. Clearly, you can feel these bullets are bigger, like more damaging than yeah. usual bullets. Yeah. But no, he just decides he's going to run and jump. <laughs> and then he gets shot twice in the head. And Kayla does the walk until your feet bleed yeah. and then keep walking, which uh, Kyle, you didn't watch this, so that's not your fault. But there was three end credit scenes oh, after this movie. Don't worry. Two, though, eh? Yeah, yeah. There's a third one. D- they're nothing important. One. Yeah. I'll Can you I don't describe it? Well, one's Wolverine drinking in Japan and they're like, oh, are you drinking oh, to yeah, forget? And he goes, no, I'm drinking to remember. The other one, <laughs> that's legit. And then the other one is Deadpool is found in the rubble. His mouth was wide open. His hand, his head's been cut off. His hand touches his head, and he goes shh, and that's it. And then the, <laughs> and then the. Oh uh, my god! Yeah. yeah and then the bad. other one is uh, a Colonel Striker. They are uh, he, they just a scene of him walking, and his feet are bleeding. And then the army stop him. They're like. You're uh, needed for questioning of the murder of whatever that general was. I did see that one. Okay. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense because, like, in X2, he would not have that position in government if he murdered a fucking guy and they knew about it. But yeah. whatever. That just happened. So, anyway, so Logan gets his memory gone. Kayla mm-hmm. says, walk till your feet bleed. She dies. She Gambit dies. finds Wolverine. Wolverine's freaking out. What's my name? 
It's Logan. Yeah. Um, do you know her? No, I don't. Uh, Gam at one point says, come with me. Rog- Logan's running with him. And then when all these cops are showing up, he's like, we got to get out of here. And he's like, I'll find my own way. Dude, you have no fucking memory. Dude, why you don't are you even know where we are? <laughs> yeah. like, why are you so calm with this whole thing? Like, <laughs> why are you gonna say I'll find my own way? Fuck that. Go with the guy who said he yeah. was your friend. Like, and uh, what was the other point? Oh, because the other thing they try to set up that Logan doesn't know who he was. Because uh, Gamut's like, you really messed this place up. We gotta get out of here. So like planting the idea of Logan in his mind, like, oh, I was a really bad person yeah, okay, before, yeah. mm-hmm. but like. Clearly, like it's not because it's just he like you could have just asked him, like, what it, what happened? Like, can we go for <laughs> yeah. coffee? And, oh, like, you were in? saving people that were captured, but no, his whole life now he thinks, like, oh, I just fucked up and killed What'd this you entire do? <laughs> yeah. He just now thinks that he killed everyone on this fucking island yeah. with no context whatsoever. Oh, yeah. oh, so, God. and that's the end of the movie, and it's uh, not a great movie. You guys, what have stuff to add on the uh, ending? You got to mention when Gamut comes in and saves Logan. Right, right from the ru- he just yeah. destroyed, which doesn't yeah. matter because Gamut risked his life to <laughs> save Logan. Logan would not have died from that. So what if Gamut screwed up and killed himself? But very, I don't think Gamut would have known that he has these regen yeah. abilities. Probably not, but we do. So it's just uh, you know, <laughs> it takes the fun <laughs> out of it. And he comes from fucking nowhere. He just like does a flip and he hits the wall and he just he missed me and then he throws his staff away and he doesn't yeah, leave those staff. The whole, it's just, it's it just like the rest of the movie. It's, it's just a mess. Messy. Yeah. yeah. It's like this review. It's just all over the place. It is. It needed to be. It's kind of messy. It, I'm, I'm so sorry for the listeners. I'm just so confused on how messy this movie is. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Got anything to add on the ending? No, it was awful. I really don't. Like, it was <laughs> so unsatisfying. Like, you know, it's like. I'm so mad. <laughs> yeah. I. So is Logan. Let me, l- let me look at my little notes in case I forgot to mention anything. No. <laughs> no, oh, you did. Yeah, no. <laughs> when uh, when Deadpool or sorry, Barakapool, yeah, weapon yeah, weapon yeah. eleven, when he's uh, <laughs> the Deadpool. He even calls him the Deadpool. It's like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> when he's like fighting or whatever, I think it's the fight scene, and it shows Stryker like controlling him on the computer. Oh, it's so, it's so, so fucking Engage. funny. Yeah, decapitate. Decapitate. <laughs> it's like, oh, I misspelled that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so. And cool. he's just sitting there. Oh yeah, yeah no, it's so bad. So bad. It's so bad. Um, <laughs> destroying the fire escape. I had that in here because I was just I had to mention it. Oh, this is totally minor, but I <laughs> when um, so Kayla is actually like his love interest before sh- he found out the plot twist before she died and everything. They're just driving along the road and there's these two fucking total assholes <laughs> blocking this one bridge, <laughs> <laughs> having a good old conversation. They're like, yeah, like oh. I was I just was laughing so hard because he like goes up he's like can you guys move he's like he's like we're having a conversation here it's like yeah. these are the biggest tools I've ever like heard of in my life they're literally blocking like the one bridge oh it was and then she doesn't make it obvious at all that she has mutant powers you know Logan doesn't pick up goes that. Yeah, yeah it goes and he's a pretty big temper you better move and he even goes like what was that she's that's like, funny that you mentioned that because like, I, oh, no. I didn't realize till now I literally oh, didn't realize did you not no. Oh, no you didn't no she gets no. those guys to move because she goes. He's like, I'm not going to move. Does she touch him? Yeah. yeah. And she's like, oh, I sense. would. He has a pretty big 100% temper. 100% makes sense. <laughs> you guys are fucking Logan in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he no. they, I felt they made that obvious as, like, ass. Well, like, I didn't know that she had that power until later in the movie. Yeah. And then by that point, I, this was my second viewing. So It's my first viewing. You know, I, I watched this, so I, well, I watch this movie enough. in chunks. So. <laughs> Let's get to some trivia and end this podcast. Oh, yes, uh, Leah Shriver was given a muscle suit to wear as his role as Victor Creed, similar to what Vinnie Jones wore for the Juggernaut in X3 to make him lo- his, fa- his physique look comparable to Hugh Jackman's 220-pound uh, figure. Fuck. The suit uh, he made... shredded. Yeah, the suit... That's a goal for me, 220. Uh, what is it? The suit made Shriver feel humiliated, and he requested a chance to gain real muscle. <laughs> 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 he trained for three months uh, in Lithuania and continued to train alongside Jackman during filming. Jackman also made Sh- Schreiber add a great deal of protein to his diet, which Schreiber called genocide of chickens. Um, in the end, he gained 40 pounds and had to buy several new suits due to his back gaining several inches. He quoted said, I can't fit my favorite suit, but I feel like I owed it to the genre to be big. So, you know what? Good on Shots you, yeah. Yeah. Didn't he, accept he the killed that role, too. I, yeah, yeah. He, he was definitely a bright point in this movie. I mentioned this already, but Hugh Jackman expressed his point over this movie, admitting it fell sort of expectations, and he did not uh, did not do the character justice. Uh, substan- subs- subsequent... Subsequent... Sub- subsequent... Sub- subsequent... Subsequent... I can't even say it anymore. Subsequent... <laughs> <laughs> 
subsequently. <laughs> subsequently. Subsequently, <laughs> he and the rest of the crew sought to do a better job with the Wolverine. I like that Kyle came in like, oh, I got this. And then just butchered the word right again. Oh. It's like the other day I for life me could not say acquisition. Oh, acquisition. I, acquisition. I couldn't no, I could oh. I still can't say it. I'm actually um, crying for that. Brian Cox was interested in reprising his role of William Striker from X2 using the digital screen, skin grafting effects used in X-Men Last Stand for Xavier Magneto. Oof. Thank God. That would have been a long Filmmakers movie. thought it would be easier and cheaper to cast a younger actor. And hired Danny Houston. I do remember this because he was on IMD for the longest time. Michael C. Hall, who played Dexter, was considered for the role of William Stryker, which I thought, I'm glad he wasn't in this movie, but he would have been a great young William Stryker, yeah. I think. But The rating wouldn't have gone well. I'm though. glad he did. Yeah. I'm still waiting for him to play his comic book cherry. Uh, Gavin Hood and top 20th century executive uh, Tom Rothman reportedly had clashes over the movie's creative direction. One infamous incident happened while Hood, the director, was offset, at which point Rothman took it upon himself to have one of the scents repainted from Hood's original dark theme into something lighter. So that's how you can see the shenanigans. That a director, he set up a set. Okay, this is it. He goes off set for a little bit. He comes back, and the producers had it fucking repainted on him. So Jesus. what set would have that been? I have no idea. Oh. God. <laughs> maybe like, I don't know, maybe the experimental room, something like that. But just the idea that uh, you're the director, this is the set, you come back and the guy had a revenge. So you can see why this didn't turn out to be a good movie because many people were not getting along on this movie. Yeah, and doesn't sound like that it. just sounds petty as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carl Urban, Gerard Butler were considered for the part of Victor Creed. Um, Hugh Jackman, which is funny because remember way back in X-Men 1 retro, we talked about how he's offer the role of the Punisher right after X-Men. Yeah. Hugh Jackman was offered the role of Tony Stark slash Iron Man in Iron Man 2008, but he turned it down due to this film. So Robert Downey Jr. was cast instead. Holy shit. Wow. I in no That's way... wild. I in no way think he would have been better than Downey. Downey is uh, Iron Man, but I think he still would have been a, a good Iron Man. Oh, yeah. I, I don't, like I said, not to Downey level, but no, yeah. I think he would have been good casting, yeah. but... I in yeah. another in another another universe, who knows? People really want them, you know. So, uh, what would you guys rate this movie? I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna give it a nice. I think I'm gonna go two point five out of ten because there's a few things. There's Jackman's good. I'm gonna drop it down to a two. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I've done that. I think Jackman's good. There's a few action scenes. I like that Victor. war scene. I like the Wade Wilson se- scene. Other than oh, that, yeah. so there's a very few mountain things. That's why it's again like a two out of ten. I don't, I think it's it's not edited well. The score is forgettable. The CGI is bad. There's that one action scene, but rest rest of the time the action is generic. It's just and it's not acted well in some areas. Uh, yeah, not not. This is definitely one of those very low comic book movies. Definitely still not the worst, but it's like it's it's pretty bad. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, I had this this number in my mind throughout the cast. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how you can come here like thinking what you're gonna give something, and then as you talk more, it just like kind of fluctuates and changes. So I'm definitely glad that we rated at the end. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm gonna give it a two as well. I'm gonna give it a flat two. Um, similar to like your your bright points, uh, like the actual like Wade Wilson scene and like the elevator and like the Ryan Reynolds like little one liners. It's like fuck, it's five minutes maybe of him on screen but like it's it's enjoyable so that was good um h- how do you say his name v- like the victor actor Eve? Liev schreiber Liev? Liv schreiber Liv, Liv. schreiber Liv. Liv schreiber okay Liv. whatever Liv. i i, I liked him as Mr. victor schreiber. i liked him as victor he was like ominous and creepy and just like i don't know he just he did he, I, I i think it was good casting yeah hugh jackman oh man he just looked great his hair looked great mm-hmm. he i think i think he did did good job uh, what he had yeah he oh exactly and like hearing like in that trivia of like him how he like felt bad that he didn't do a good job as even though he was like the best part of this entire movie mm-hmm. i don't know but um yeah so like a couple of bright points in there but and and the, the humor parts definitely like when he was mowing down that fire escape fuck i was laughing hard like like belly laughing for sure so yeah flat two Nice. I'm going to give it uh, a 1.5. 1.5. <laughs> I knew he's going to outdo us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1.9. That's uh, <laughs> 1.5 minutes 
of <laughs> stuff I actually liked total in the whole oh, movie. Oh, <laughs> that's a good way to rate something. <laughs> <laughs> that means a long movie would get tens. Then I enjoyed at least ten minutes yeah. of this movie. So, uh, wow. I'm confused as we were talking about this <laughs> podcast. And you're still confused. I'm still confused. Maybe uh, you need to watch it again. I don't need to watch <laughs> this again. <laughs> I don't ever need to watch this me. again. Yeah. Oh, wow. So You know no. how to torture Kyle? Just strap him down, <laughs> handcuff him, and he has to watch this movie. <laughs> this, I, I think I would rather watch, what was it, um, the one with Nicolas Cage. Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. I, would I won't go that far. I would rather watch Ghost Rider <laughs> than watch this movie again. I will not go that far. <laughs> I would say that for sure. <laughs> watch <laughs> Ghost Rider? Yeah. yeah. It's way more entertaining than this. This was awful. I can't believe it. I can't <laughs> believe they l- allow this. Did this mo- <laughs> movie even make money? It did. It disappointed, but also it's unfair to say disappointed because the whole thing leaked a month and a half before. So yeah. I think it was a combination of many things. Why it, it did well, but not as well as they wanted it to. But at good enough that it made it got a sequel. It broke. Oh, like broke even. Broke oh yeah, it made money. Yeah, because the Wolverine technically, right? So no, it still made quite a bit of money. It, it not yeah. it was nowhere near flop territory or anything like that. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Wow. People love Wolverine. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you join us for X-Men Retro, we'll be reviewing and watching X-Men First Class, and I think that's going to be a much more enjoyable experience as far as the film goes. Yeah. So if you like what we do here, and if you want to ha- follow us for the rest of this retro, go down in the description below for all your patio needs and video. Uh, <laughs> Trademark everything that you, term. Yeah, everything <laughs> you need there, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, it's all there. So please subscribe, give us a review, a rating if you want to get these episodes early. Head over to Patreon. So we thank you very much for tuning in to this. Just like this movie, have an es- esperated day. <laughs> you, that, you tripped on that delivery. Uh, totally. that <laughs> was, Can I redo it? That yeah. was extremely bad. <laughs> Travis with the recovery. Again. Let's run I that back. Drop. <laughs>